Whenever I am free, I'll come with this discussion. Sister. Sister. Sister, please. Sister, I'm sorry, please. I, I don't mean it that way. Sister. Are you going to? You're back. I'm back. It's my spirit you're seeing or seeing your back. Of course I'm back. A big teenager. Um, Mama, I want to go to the market and get a few things for the house. I'll be back very soon. Hey, baby, chalo. In our baby. You want to go to the market with the car? Is that what you're saying? Now each of you out there and start cruising with my son's car. I don't understand. Can't I go to the market anymore with my husband's car? You forgot to mention his name. You forgot to mention my son's name because you know you killed him. So you intentionally left out his name, okay? Eh? Mama, I don't have one strength for this. Please take the khaki. With all pleasure. Cook with it. Eat it. Chew it. Will you so for one? In fact, fold it and turn it into your pillow. Eh? Sleep with it. I know my way to the market. I cannot swear trek. No, because start trekking. Thank you. You were trekking before my son met you. I change one in all two. I blow your your complexion confused again. Go to the sun can with chai. He he return out to normal. After all, you don't have money again for bleaching cream. Nonsense. I'm at the body cream. He bleaching gauge where it's so natural. I'm more fear. Ha ha. Zuzupo. Nonsense. Can't come watch you wear pinata this day. Bye bye. Let's see. Hey, Pim Pim Oza. <laughs> I will be cruising you soon. When we were growing up as little girls, Women used to wear black when they mourn their husband. What does that got to do with anything? It has everything to do with what is happening. It was in our very eyes that they changed from black to white. Today, no woman ever wears black to mourn her husband. I don't know where you are driving at. What exactly is your argument? If they can change from black to white easily and nothing happened, they can as well abolish this rubbish of forcing a woman to scrape her hair just because she's mourning her husband. <clears throat> there are things you just cannot see. Scraping up the hair is the way a woman proves her innocent that she didn't kill her husband. Wait, 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 Uzondo. I really need to understand you. Are you amongst these people who believe that my sister killed her husband? It's not about what I think. What I'm saying here is there's a way a woman can prove her innocence. They've already forced her into the rituals of scraping up her hair. Let's wait till three months time and see what happens. And I can tell you here and now that nothing will happen. My sister did not kill Obi Ajolu. We will know that in three months time. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Akosi! Hey! What that shall never end. Oma. What you? Because they miss you. Hey, my brother. How are you? I'll take good for life. Look at you. <laughs> Even your beds are not coming out. Hey, I can say. Oh, ma, you and this, you have not changed much either. Why would I change? I'm supposed to be taking God for life. Look at you now. I, I'm deeply sorry once again about your lost. It's okay. I mean, if it wasn't the wish of God, it wouldn't have happened. Huh? My hair. <laughs> I'm used to people looking at me that way. So where are you going under this house, son? And where is your car? Um, I'm actually coming from the market. But I didn't go with my car because I wanted to do some exercise. I've not been feeling my legs for some time now. now. I hope you have had enough exercise because I'm going to drop you at home now. You don't need to drop me. I still have to buy something on my way, very close to the house. Besides, I'm sure you have somewhere important to go to. There is no problem. Wherever I'm going to, you got to wait. I'm going to drop you now. Listen, 
Don't be stubborn. Just go. I am not living at the end of the village. I can do it myself. Oma, I'm just few minutes away from dumping you inside this car. He hasn't got it to the point of dumping. Fine. I will enter the car. You are so stubborn. Don't you? I was there, you know, the funeral, you were so much in pain to notice some, some of those details. But I, I'm not holding it against you. Oh. Agose, it's okay. I'm sorry I didn't notice your presence there. I have decided to hand everything to God. Even though I feel like fighting him at times, I still don't understand the death of my husband. It's still like a mystery to me. It's okay. You, you'll be fine. In time, you'll be fine. So when are you going back to the city? And once I'm done mourning my husband, you know, I have some processes. I have to go through some procedures before going back to the city and live my normal life. Okay, okay. What a phobia do the business? Is it not going to suffer? No, it's not going to suffer. There are competent hands handling it and then um, that's the listing on my mind right now. I can't go there without remembering of your job. I just don't want to go there for now. With time you will be fine, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Oma! 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 Oma, Bolone, come boy. Who is this he goat that you're talking to? Mama, good afternoon. You can't see. Keep your greetings to yourself. Never God. You go go to the city. Mama, what? Mama, don't you know Agozi now? Is Agozi? I don't care what your name is. Never God. Never God. Never God. Canva Senele, five pairs, ten naira. Nyakoyi. That's the kind of man you're dealing with. Oh, now I know. I understand why you killed my son. No, no, why you poisoned my son? Did when they saw this your yellow papa body to all these young men at this village? Mama, please stop it. This is not fair now. Stop it. This thing you're saying is not true. You know it. It's not true. What, what, what did you just say? Biangwakem, Agosi or whatever you're called. Let look at the PC. Eh? I call you, bro. Come and say my problem before I burn your car. That's enough. Did you just talk to me? What can say my problem before I burn your car? Just stop it. It's enough now, huh? Why do you always find every opportunity to insult me or embarrass me? I don't like it. I have not even started. It's not about what you like and what you don't like. Nezia Nanya. Eh? Kwe, kwe, nko, nyo, cha. Kwe, le, kwe. I'll go there, please. Ah. Don't worry, I'll come and see you later. You go see him later. I go see him later. I need to understand something. Are you angry with the woman? Or are you angry with our tradition? Actually, I'm not angry. I'm just confused. Confused about what? With the boldness on her face. The way she, she, she was saying it. Accusing the innocent lady of killing her woman's back. As far as I'm concerned, she's in pain and agony. That woman should assist her in making the pain go down. Not compounding the problem with her own uncoordinated words. You know, eh, there's something you fail to understand about women. Women have this way of concealing even the deadliest of crimes. As a well-traveled man, I believe you should know these things about women. I don't understand what you mean by that. See, it is possible that young lady killed her husband. Monday, Monday. You are my good friend now. You shouldn't be saying anything like this now. I don't know, calm down. 
I did not conclude. I have not concluded. I did not say for sure she killed her husband. I said it is possible she did. For all I know, we, we all will get to know the truth someday. We will all wait for six months after her hair must have been buried in the soil of Umudian. If she survives it, then we'll all know that she's innocent of the crime. Okay, I, I want to ask you this now. Mm -hmm. Eventually, if she now, if, 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 if they after the whole thing and they found out that she's innocent, will they apologize to her? Abrosian? This one is left for the gods. Uh, no, nothing will... we, we came here to drink and go. Let us keep drinking. Nothing will be left for the gods. You need to answer me. Eventually, if she, they find out that she is innocent, would they apologize to her? Am I SMO? You know the way to SMO house. If you get there, you ask him this question. Because I want my eye being No, you'll be answering, you'll be drinking and be answering the question. You understand? Mama, I am tired. I am sick and tired of that woman. There is nothing that I do in that house that pleases her. She never gets satisfied and it's driving me nuts. I am tired. Mama, it's choking, it's choking me. I'm tired. That is what I have been telling you. It never gets better. It would get better with the kind of a mother-in-law you have. That was why I was so much against your relationship with Obi Ajuru back then. But my dear, what is done is done. Uh -uh. You have to calm down and take it easy. Hmm? Mama, if I continue taking it easy, I might just die on the process. I have done everything for this woman. Mama, did you know what it feels like? Do you know what it means to be in between those vultures? To shave my hair just to make her happy. Yet, she is unsatisfied. She's not happy. Agnes. Agnes is not an easy person to live with. That has been her problem. You have to. And that has been the reason I was against your relationship with Obi Ajil way back then. Yeah? But the deed is done. You have to be steadfast. And do not let her intimidate you, especially now that we'll be going back to the city. Mama, thank you so much. With this, I can be able to stay one more day with that one. This advice will go a long way in my life. If not, I was about losing it. I don't want to pay money to lose it. Huh? So don't lose it, Mom. Yeah? There's nothing you can do about it. You have to tolerate everything. Now, are you going to eat? Mama, I am not hungry. This is my house. I know my way to the kitchen if I'm hungry. I got that one. You have to eat bigger. I have to get you something to eat. Let oh. me do that for now. Huh? Please, calm down. Let me get you Hey. Good afternoon, Mama. Mama. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Mama, good afternoon. Good me, Auntie. Mama? Did I do anything wrong? Did I say something wrong? No, no, no. No. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure she's angry. I thought I would go with my cow, but she insists. If, if we're going to get her now, if 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 going to get her. Please, I wanted to come to your place later in the day. It's about my mother in law. I'm sorry for all the harsh words she used on you. You don't deserve any of those words. No. Please, forgive her. No, no, no. no. I am sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. It is only a person who doesn't know Agnes that will be seeking for uh, apology. As far as I'm concerned, she's just vibrating. Even myself, I'm wondering how you, you live and cope with that woman. You know, when my husband was alive, she wasn't coming to our place. He made sure she stayed away with her troubles. But now Obi Ajuli is dead, there's nothing I can do about it. I guess all her troubles are now turned on me. I, I understand. I'll get used to it. I understand. It's not like you're going to live with her forever. You understand? Once the tie to death has been lifted, you will go back to the city and you will, you will not be facing her problems anymore. You understand? You're right. It's okay. Once again, I am sorry on her behalf. There, no Please problem. forgive her. There's no, you are more than a friend to me and you are always welcome. Thank you. And once I go back to the city, 
you will come visiting me it's every so time. So <laughs> Thank you. you. Just go and meet my mom. I'm sure she's waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Mother, what are you still doing here? I, you should have been at home by now. What are you still doing in this place? Chagos, are you mad? In Apuala? Mad, mad as now. I don't. Why, why do you like behaving like an idiot? You would not What, Chagos? What has come over you? What is your problem? Uh, Mom, I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. You understand? But I believe whatever this may be, we can talk about this when we get to the house. We, we are on the road now. Exactly. And that is why we will discuss it here. So that the forces that watches over this road will bear me witness. Even Ajan will bear me witness that I warned you to stay you off from the path of destruction. Manage your life. Hey, mother, guess you can go where destruction was. Why are you frolicking with that widow that killed her husband? Eh? Do you want the cops to kill you when they come for her? You try one, Hey. What you got here? You can't go while messing around with her mother. I'm not messing around with anybody. And who, who, who made her a murderer? She is a young lady, unfortunate to lose her husband untimely. It is sad on how your mind could be infected in, on such crazy belief. She is my friend, and you know that, mother. God forbid. I forbid you from being friends with her as from now. Mom, Mom what are you saying? Are you now going to monitor my movement? All for what? A custom that should have been abolished many years ago. Mom, are you one of you? You are among the, these women that Mrs. Odora has been fighting. Mom, she's right. You, you, you women suck. Chagose, Chagose, you are walking out on me, your mother, because of Efa. That thing. Eh? Okay, Fogi. Even these leaves will bear me witness that I warned you. Okay, yeah, Chia Gossier! Chia Gossier! Agnes, good afternoon. Agnes, I'm greeting you. Agnes, Mrs. Onyen Kalo, the fearless woman. I am greeting you. Know, because Chia right there, just hold it. You're greeting me for what? Keep your greetings to yourself. Can't wait to be the one. Or give me. Wait, oh. Is there any fight between, between the both of us? I can't remember. Okay, okay. Tell me. And I will apologize. Now listen to me. You apologize in Dewa. I don't like hypocrites in my life. And you're one of them, so stay away from me. Me, hypocrite. Yes, you a hypocrite. Wait. No. After that performance you put up, you think you can deceive me? Now let me tell you something. We're neither friends nor mates. So stay on your own. I'm not interested in being your friend. Keep your greetings to yourself, my friend. Or give me... Wait, you Agnes. Didn't I just ask you if, if there's any problem between us? And you said no. This woman, are you still here talking to me? Or my friend, you come on I? Okay, when, has, when, has, it become a, when has it become a problem for me to greet you? Pico, don't greet me. Oh, sorry. Like I said, you're sorry. a hypocrite. Pico, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. In a fellow maka, Gini. Fellow maka, say about what? Mochicha, what is all this? She stops me to greet me. I don't want to answer. And she's not saying I can and walking away. Get up and lay on there. The next thing now, she'll ask me to give her a lift. Oh, yeah, ma. Oh, no, 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 My people, elders of our land, daughters of Umudiani, we all know why we are here. The main fact that Oma, the widow of our son, Obia Jolo, is still alive. Seven days, and today is a K market day. Seven days after she was put to the test. She is still alive. 
That means she is innocent, as she claimed. Her hands are clean. Therefore, by the heating of this sulfur on the ground today, Alma stands vindicated. She is free to live her life from now on. To live her normal life without problems and without any accusations from any quarters. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said. Lies. Thank you. All lies. There is no way this girl can be vindicated from killing my son. Ah, she can't go scotch free because now more boom, 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 how she dare you talk now. when I'm talking? Hey, what to more? Me. Iga Kabaru, just go and get married in Olinus. So your si are you sure your sisters? Neki ne jika ana. Neki na ngone na chakoto. You never liked my sister. That's so it. you are ready to do anything just to peg her as corporate. Oh! Where were you to know whether I liked her or not? Ine Sharifa, na chu die, adim sho na kaya di rojo niya. This one your sister is vindicated all because one go I am not Mama. I will not, Mama. Shut, Shut up, so this girl. This woman is taking more than you. I am only looking at her skin. You see, she ridiculed my sister. She ridiculed her son for revenge. That's enough. Your father has been indicated, and there's nothing any evil woman can do about it. Oh, you can shake your head. And the way you shake that head, eh? You say, "Yeah, may." She is okay, please. No matter, it's okay. No matter what, you don't have the right to talk to her like that. She's still Obi Ajilo's mother, my mother-in-law. No, 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 no. Talk now if you can talk. And give my yoke and give my She's a jealous mother. Before Uncle, you can put both be a jealous wife, Bolo Mother. Nonsense. Thank you, my elders. Thank you so much for a day like this. I also thank the gods of our land. They have really proven that justice is real. That you cannot hurt the innocent. Family of Ella. I am not happy the way you people treated my daughter. But so far, so good. I am glad that her innocence has been proven in this case. Agnes. Hey! Madam Agnes. I hope you will now stop belittling my daughter <laughs> and calling her all sorts of names. How come daughter? Because all she ever did these three years of marriage to your late son was to love and loyalty to him. He love. Love. So, you have to give her that respect. Respect, Gini. Biyamwanyi kuwa ono. No, no, which respect can I come and Oh, you want to come? Give me one I'm not going to chill here for two years. No, you wouldn't. I'm going to come and come for you. 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 I'm going to come Nemi, onye ji e ba putu. O na ta ben ni anu lu. O na ta ben ni anu lu. You want to fight? Nne mra pu ni a. Do you want to fight? Ready to do more than that? Nne and aga. Mother, it has still boiled down to what I was saying already. Now that she has been confirmed innocent in the sacredness of Ozi of her, what will you guys do now? Ya chi agose. Don't provoke me. Don't get me angry. Oku na na pass na miwe. Do not let me fall out with you on this. Oku na na Bam, bam, bam. No, mama. I, I, it has not gotten to this point of me falling out with my own mother. You understand? Just that the, the truth has to be told. You know, you guys really mess up. Oh, no, oh, no. He fooled my other mother. You know. See now, Kopo. Get up on my side. So, what? We are inside. I'm not sure. You know? I'm not sure. check inside. We are inside. I'm not I 
Look at what that witch you married, look at what she has done to you. She has killed you. I warned you. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. You believed you were in love. What did they be love with the belly? Money. Oh, actually, if only you had listened to your mother. I got in a no na ni vive di ne nu. Ani bero. Now she has wasted you, Obi Ajulu. Oh, boy. What am I supposed to do? Eh, Obi Ajulu. Hi. Ah. Mama, what are you doing out here now? It's late. Who are you talking to? Mama, please, let's go inside. Something bad could happen to you here. What could happen to me? No, tell me. I should go inside. You will go Eh? I want my son against his family. Mama, I will Ah, Mama, I will go to the house. I will go to the house. Mama, I have I, told you several I did not kill Obia John. I can't kill my husband. What would I get in killing him? You are not because you know. I want you to tell me what you will get in killing my son. Give me the key You will try to see him like a white name guy. I want a different style on that side. Hi! Mama. Please. If I have done anything to you, knowingly or unknowingly, forgive me, I am sorry. But I did not kill Obia Joe. Hey? And wherever he is right now, he won't be happy seeing you here by this time. No. Look at tears now. Obia Joe, wherever he is, gonna see hell never melon them. Oh, my God, no, melon them if I. Because now, Baba, go to bed and leave me. I won't go to bed. Leave me, Kabelo, Baba, go. That's what I am saying. Don't worry, the documents are going to be given to you very soon. Okay. Thank you so much, Barista. I really appreciate all your help. Thank you. Who was that? One of your boyfriends, I'm sure. Mama, I don't have a boyfriend. I was talking to the barrister regarding the documents I sent to him. Am I wanted I... to call him before he gets to him now. Am I supposed to believe that? By the way, what documents are you talking about? Mama, it's business. Oh, business? In other words, I'm not supposed to know. Mama. Also, but <laughs> for your information, I will get to you. Okay, let me help you with this. Uh -huh, by the way, about when see about why you turn my house into a brothel. And for your information, I have eyes all over the village watching you. So any stupid step you make, I got one. I can make you there, come. Mama, I mean, why would you even think of me in such a manner? <laughs> why is it so hard for you to trust me? I do not trust you. All right? Why would I trust you? For what? My son that trusted you are back on now. Oh, please. Just know that people are watching you, that's all. Mama, is this what you're supposed to tell your daughter-in-law before leaving the house? Why do you have the worst impressions about me? Why do you hate me so much? Why? My son that loved you, Abekon, you killed him. No, 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 no. You think I'll be as stupid as my son and let you warm yourself into my heart? Because you would kill me and guess what? You can't get me. Mama, you need to beat the traffic at the head bridge. That's if you're still traveling today. Hmm. Or former Joseph Hart. Yeah. I will beat the traffic. Or was I? If I'm stuck in traffic, or was I? Because you don't have a big can say about poor. Carry the bag properly now. You may be silly me fending here. My costume jewelry, my gold, my makeup. Hey, pick it. Oh, Jesus. Hold on there, let me open. 
please. Why would I do that? I did not. Why would you think I'll do such thing to the company? Just relax. I'll call you back, please. I beg you. Hi. Poor dear. What is wrong with this woman? What is your problem? Mama. What is it? What is it? Who is giving you so bad? Who are the person apart from my mother in law? Who else? That woman is driving me nuts. What is all this now? Ever since she went to the city, they just call me every minute. I keep receiving complaints and all that. Is she tampering with the business? Of course she is. If she wasn't, they wouldn't have been calling me. I, I, I know, I know your mother-in-law very well. Ma, ma, Madam uh, Agnes. Uh, oh, ma'am, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You know, I wish I can just get up, pack up my things and go to the city and do something. But there are still... Listen, listen. You and I know the truth. If this is a prison sentence, my dear, you have already served your time. It's time for you to pack your things and go back to the city and start your business. If you, if you, if you, if you keep staying here, you, you end up losing everything. You know? Why can't you even mention this? Just for holding, can even WhatsApp police and, and, and city now. What is the, what is the company? What is bringing them together? I don't know, I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Go What are you doing in my house? The question is, why are you home? Are you done with mourning your husband? I have mourned my husband enough. Oh, really? Now back to my question, what are you doing in my house without my consent? This happens to be my son's house. The fact that he died an untimely death does not change anything. Now to answer your stupid question, this is my son's house. No disputes. She was not dragging that with anyone. But what thing I do not understand is why you will leave your house in the city to come stay in my own house, in my husband's house. How did you even get access into this house? Did you say? How did I get access into your house? My son's house? And let me tell you something. I am Chief Mrs. Agnes Onyelankalo. No one tells me what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. If I decide to sell my city house, it is nobody's business. If I decide to move into my son's house and stay put, it's still nobody's business. But you know what? I know what you're running from. You want me to get out of here so that you will start again with your promiscuity. Enough. Enough! I will not start here and watch you insult me any further. Stop it! I am not a prostitute and I will never be. Look at you, you're not even ashamed of yourself. You put up your own house for sale and you are here to give me trouble as usual, right? Well, you lying. So get up, pack your things, and get out of my house right oh, now. Oh, baby, you are hot. Come and drag me out. Please, can you put your hand down? I'd like to watch the movie. You're blocking my view. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hey, 
Come and drag me out. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh. So, I'm waiting. Waiting for what exactly? I don't know why you're acting like we've never heard of this kind of thing before. This is not your first time of hearing it. Mama, it is not my first time, but I am surprised it's coming from a woman like you. Surprised? Coming from you. Why would you be surprised? I mean, that's the least you can do for my son. Give him children. And how am I supposed to do that? By sleeping around with different men? Well, something like that, if you have to, well, that's okay. I mean, look, my poor child had an untimely death. The least we can do is ensure that his name stays up. And how can we do that if you don't give him children? But anyway, I don't really want you sleeping around with different men. I've already found the right specimen for the project. And who's that? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Mama! Hmm? Utete? Yes. Well, he's dark and handsome and can be very funny. And please, mind how you call him. He's not just Utete. <coughs> now you're going to have something to do with him. You look for a nice name because it's going to make you feel like a woman. You either call him darling or tete, or you call him tete tete, depending on how the groove, the groove takes you. <laughs> mm. Mm. You would have lovely children. Handsome boys, dark and fair, beautiful girls. Ute, ute, ute. <laughs> ute, ute. Mm. Mm. Have you considered it? Considered what? The proposition I made to you. Um, have you given it a thought? Mama, I cannot think about such. My brains cannot be made for that. I, I, I didn't think about anything. Well, what did you just say? I mean, what exactly are you saying? Mama, you're not deaf. I just said I cannot do it. I can't do such to Obiachiro. Period. Really? You can't do such to Obiachu. You send him to an early grave. I mean, the least you can do is actually give him children. <sighs> By becoming your prostitute, right? Whatever. By whoring my body just to make you happy. That's what you want me to do. I won't do it. I will never do it. Do you think this is actually what Obiachu would have wanted for me? I am Obiachelo's mother. And only I should know what Obiachelo wants. Obiachelo would have wanted you to give him children running all over the place. Not just sitting back enjoying his money when he was alive. You were not even a wife. If not, you would have given him children then. Mama, I will not tolerate any of your insults anymore. I want enough of it. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Look at what you were saying with your own mouth. I thought you were a Christian, Mama. And here you are claiming that you know Obiadjo, or he's your son. But trust me, you don't even know half of the things that I know about him because I am his wife. I will not listen to your nonsense. But you must do my bidding. Mama, I will never... Do your bidding. Oh, you've done it already. I won't. You will. You will. Where are you going? Um, Mama? Um, good morning. I thought you already got out. Anything the matter? 
No, I actually came to your room to look for you so we could have breakfast together, but you were not responding. Mm. Where are you going? Oh, I'm sure you've forgotten. I do have a shop. It's for market which has been dormant for a long period of time now. I need to go sort things out. I already called the cleaners to come to the shop. I'm rushing so I can meet up with them. I'll see you when I'm back, please. In case if you need something, I made some food for you in the kitchen. Okay? Where are you going? Mama, I just told you I'm going to my supermarket. I'm going to my shop. Please, I don't have time to do this with you right now. I will see you when I am back. Your food is in the kitchen. Mama! How dare you? Mama, what have you done? What are you talking about? Mama, do not give me that precious look on your face because you know what I am talking about. Mama, just this morning before I left for the shop, I told you I was going to get cleaners to come clean the shop for me. Only for me to get there and then I found out that you've already changed. I mean, Mama, you changed the padlocks. You even sacked my staff. You changed my personnel. Why? Because I can and I've done it. Do you have any problem with it? Mama, I have a huge problem with that. I will not let you do to my business what you've been doing to your son's business. This particular shop is my own. If I may ask, who set up the shop for you? Is it not my son that set it up? That means your shop belongs to my son and I have every right to control it. Mama, you do not have that right. Obi opened that shop for me so I could fend for myself. So I can provide some certain things for myself without disturbing him. Why would you want to close my shop? Why would you want to take it away from me? Just Why? shut up. That shop was set up by my son. So technically, the shop belongs to him. And I have every right to control what belongs to my son. So you just keep quiet. Mama, tell me. Are you throwing those blows of frustration so I can do all your bidding? Right? I know that is why you're doing all this. But let me tell you something. I will never change my mind. I won't. For your information, this all boils down to one thing. Be humble. Get off your high horse. Behave yourself and maybe, <laughs> just maybe, I would consider allowing you on that show. Else, you'll probably end up like one of your staff. Mama, I will never end up like any of my staff. Mama, you have no right to meddle in the, in the affairs that concerns my shop, Mama. You know, I, Mama, I hope that you gave me that shop for me and myself. I will not let you touch my shop. I will let you tamper with my know, shop, Mama. I, I, let my shop be for me, Mama. I let hate, it be. I hate it when you rant. You just rant, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, give me do. Mwah, no one. Ah, instead of you to ask me if you could be a sales girl in the shop, you be an anarcho personnel. You should be one of the personnel, the sales girl. Ah, oh, Biko, you are chairman of the firm. Can you? Biko, Biko, the dark skin woman is getting on my nerves. She is driving me nuts. She has control over everything in the house that I do not even have one say. I can't even say anything that happens in the house anymore. Can you at least please sit? Sit. This is not a time to sit. This is not the time to sit. You don't get it. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to go about this without going through the law. Excuse that's, me? That's the only way out. You expect me to drag my mother-in-law to court over this? I won't. I will never do it. So, what do you intend to do? How do you want to go about it? You know, I warned you about this. But you never took me seriously when the first employee lost his job. Now, see where the wings you have given her have landed you. What do you want me to do? What do you expect me to do? What? Listen to me, EKD. Thinking this matter to court will not automatically solve my problem. Wait. But at least it will end in your favor. Oh. The evidences against her are quite overwhelming. And the judge would just take her to cleaners. And what would people say? You don't have to worry about what people will say. This woman have taken a better part of you. 
I mean, your late husband died interstate, and everything he automatically has becomes yours, except if there's a specified will. But in Obiajulu's case, you are the one all along. And you are allowing this woman to just push you around. Shouldn't do that. You know, I am just being lenient over this because I understand her pains. She is a woman who lost her child. She is pained. Yes, I get it, but putting all her frustrations on me is what I cannot fathom. I can't fathom it at all. But then again, I wonder why you are unnecessarily lenient over a woman that doesn't know anything about the law. As in, who knows what she could be up to next? You never can tell. You have to take this woman head on. If you ask me, you have to. You have to. She's beating more than she can chew. I mean, this is, this is too much. Still here beside me. Since you left, your mother has been treating me with so much cruelty and animosity. I don't know why she hates me so much. You know, sometimes I just wish I can take a walk from this maze and walk into the light. It's as if I'm, I'm stuck. I don't even know where to go to from here. I miss you so much. I miss you so, so much. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Belle Omar. You know, in French, we say belle Oma. In English, we say beautiful Oma. Yeah, this is funny. Chop it there. Belle Oma. Excuse me. Now, what are you doing? Are you not going to go back home? I live here now. This house is our house. And this room is, is, is our room. I, I what are you saying? Sir, where is your heart? Wait a minute. Don't tell me my mother-in-law put you up to this. No, you don't need to worry about that. It's, it's all settled. You don't need to worry. I'm no longer far. You see that house that is very far. I don't look good there. I am here. Just press your phone. I am in your room already. In fact, I have come next. <laughs> hey! Uh, hey! Get out of my belly, Oma. Right now. Was in belly, Oma. Belly, go. You cannot hear. Are you sick? Get out! Yes, mommy. Yes. Was in belly, Oma. Belly, Oma. Do you have any problem with that? I do. I mean, don't I have a say in this matter? 
oh, so I now have to take permission from you before I decide on how to handle my household, is that? Mama, this is my house. My husband's house. Well, you can't have a claim to this place because your husband is no more and you do not have children. Oh, really? So I should give my body to the man you have chosen for me, right? Do you have any better idea? Mama, what about the word never? Because I will not do it. I will never do it. No, you Get won't. that into your head. You will. I will, Mama. With I time, will. you will calm down. It's okay, bang the door, get angry, whatever, but I know that you will do it. Just a little time. Otete! 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 Where's that idiot? coming from? I've been shouting your name since I came out. I'm sorry, ma'am. I went to get some food. I've been so famished since last night. I don't know what that Yeku gave me that made me to spend a good chunk of my time in the toilet. Shut up! Or same toilet. You and who are discussing toilet? Couples and couple or boko again. Sorry. You must be stupid. We ate the same kind of food and you're complaining about going to the toilet. They even gave you extra cherry topping on your own food. So I don't know what you're talking about. And that food was given to you to perform a duty. Yet, you failed me. But, but Mama, I tried my best. No, no, you didn't try hard enough. And let me warn you. Next time, try harder. If you disappoint me, you will not like the other side of me. Mom, I promise to do a good job this time. Get the car keys and get me out of here. Yes, ma'am. Mama, 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 I am talking to you what now. What is it? Mama, which one is what is it? What have I done to you in this life, Mama? Have I wronged you in any way? You tell me where, where I'm, just tell me where I have gone wrong and I apologize to you. What if you me, Mama? You actually know what you're talking about. But then again, so which of the questions do you want me to answer? Mama, why did you freeze my account? Oh, that. Well, you don't have any need of the account. You don't have children to take care of, no families. No, I mean, nothing. Mama, I have me. Oh, remember, I have me to take care of. I am a human being. Mama, that money in my account is meant for me to use and take care of myself. Oh. Yes. Really? Yes. It's a matter of choice with your man. It's either you do what I asked you to do. Give my son children, then you'll enjoy yourself. Mama. Why do you like this? Why do you like problem too much? Tell me, does trouble give you blood? Mama, why are you bent on driving me to my breaking point? I'm not just saying, Paula. You're driving me nuts. Oh, but actually, I'm a the Allah already. Now, listen to me and listen, God. It, it, it's not, what I'm asking of you is not too much. All you need to do, you know, those lovely, luscious ties of yours, just, just, Open it a little, you know, for one man. <laughs> and then you will enjoy everything. Your husband's money, his property, everything you want belonging to my son, you will have. Mama. Yes. The property you're mentioning is my husband's property. We built this empire together. Oh, really? It is my house. And I will not stand here and watch you take it away from me. Never. Really? Mama, if you know the way you went to the bank to fill that account. Oh, yeah. Go back there and tell them to open it to Maka. He may pay on that account. Mama, I will give you I will eat you. I will eat you if you, if you don't open that account for me, Mama. <laughs> mama, may I unfreeze? I must not be well. Don't provoke Mama. Go and open that account because I need my money. I need to take care of myself. Please. Thank you. Nyayi na kwa kanje di frost that the account. I'm going to soon to the fridge. Nonsense. Oh, belly of You are truly beautiful, Mama. See, Tiriba. Yes, was. Belly of a big, beautiful, Mama. Come on, in the mood. 
thing to you. Yes, you are. Who is he? He will. Yes. Please. Yes. That is the mood. That is the actual mood that is important for this mission. Mm. What are you doing in my husband's home? What are you doing here? Uh, I came here for something that is very important. I am the husband now. Come, let me anoint that region. Have you gone mad? Have you gone insane? My mother in law put you up to this, right? No. Mother in law? No. I am here to anoint that place so that something better will come out for that will benefit you and I. With your lucky legs, you had the guts to climb my home as my children. Have you got No. Have you got mad? Something wrong with you? Hey! I am doing this thing just to please Big Madame. If you calm down, fresh oil, fresh oil, you are in the mood. So, because my mother in law asked you to come to my matrimonial, you had the guts to come here. Are you passing Are you passing through people? Hey! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! I wanted to collect. Collect! Collect! Ah! You shut! Mama, do not give me that pretentious look on your face because I am sure you were the one that put him up to this. What, what is wrong with him? I mean, look at him. Young, handsome man, black, with six pack, moving shoulder. Sure, sure, sure. Turn around. Turn around. Now, now look at the buttocks. The right size to give you what you need. Exactly, yes. Mama, eh? You can have a also. No, can I'm you sit so. properly? No, no, wait. Look at Utete, my driver, you brought me to come and sleep with me. Is that why you want to shut the whole house down and wake up the neighbors? So what if he's your driver? The important thing is that he has the right instrument to give you what you want. <laughs> Look at it, Ezianana. And he does it while making some crying sounds. Die! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Can you imagine? Oh, I am really disappointed. I am. Why? How could you be so heartless, Mama? Mama, put me in your little shoes. That's if you have one. Would you let her go through so much frustration and so much misery? You're so mean and wicked. If I had a daughter, by now she would have had like 10 children in her husband's house. And please don't be calling me Utete or Utete. Utete, Utete, Utete. She'll be giving you a reason. Utete. Mama, you keep talking about kids like it was my fault. It was your son's wish that we have children at the right time. Mama, why are you always putting the blame on me? You know what? I will not let you control me or make me unhappy anymore in this house. And that's for you, Tete! You are living this house at first. Come on, take a little look back. Tete! You are not going anywhere. I pay your salary, you're not going anywhere. Yes, you mommy. stay here and give it to her. Yes, right, mommy. Tete? Yes, right, mommy! Are you living this house? I am not giving right. this thing! This has to stop. Agnes has beaten more than she can chew. I will not let this go on any longer. I will not. Mama. Don't mama me, Obiyama. Obiyama, don't mama me, please. Eh? How could you stay in that house and try to condone all she's been doing to you? I say, mama, 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 mama. What house are you talking about? The house you're talking about is my late husband's house. We built that house together. Do you expect me to vacate the house because my mother-in-law does not like me? I won't. Obiyama, your husband is dead. Wake up from the illusion. Obiyajulu is dead and gone. What more do you hope for? A miracle for that woman to like you. She never liked you when her son was alive. And you want her to suddenly develop that love for you. Now, hmm. Obiyama. That woman subjected you to nothing but misery. What else do you think she can do? Eh? Yeah? Mama, you have to understand that that woman is hurting. She lost her only child. Mm. It is painful. Stop giving excuses for that woman. Stop! She may be your mother-in-law, but a woman and a mother first. 
and she knows how wicked and outrageous her actions are. Yet she goes ahead and carries them out. Obiama, that woman is wicked. And this is where I draw the line. I will not be alive and watch her do this thing to you. Okay, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do We are expecting a simple yes or no answer. Agnes. Marzi, because it's name loser. Madam Agnes. Oh, is this what you called me down here for? To get the answer whether yes or no? What are we talking about? What does our custom and tradition say? If your son dies without the wife giving birth to children, the wife should stay back and give children, deliver children on behalf of the man so that the lineage would continue. Abria. Aubrey, is there anything wrong with that? I see. Blunt and fly. Yeah. It is not going to happen with my daughter. Oh, my Sigo. Over my dead body. Here yeah. found. My daughter has gone through enough mockery in the years of being your daughter-in-law. I am not going to watch her go through such again. Listen, no, you're not to see why you go. Now to my point, I you a boogie. My can't be over your dead body. Oh, yeah, boy. What are you talking about? When they talk about mockery, who should be talking about mockery? I've lost my only son, my only child, without having a, 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 a child, a grandchild of my own. The people in the village now laugh at me. And I can't come mockery. You are not the only one that loses your child. She lost her husband too. How can she lose her husband? She killed her husband, so she lost no one. I want to know lose you. Uh, yeah, 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 Agnes. Oh, 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 come Agnes, Madame Agnes. Okay. You should learn to watch your words. It was declared last time that she is innocent of every allegation leveled against her. Did he? No, no, no. Who declared? Oh, oh. This one that you, you, your mouth is bending to one side. You will go. It just shows that you lie. All of you connived when I watching you. Right? Protecting her. Right? That is very good. That's why none of you can ever say the truth. You feel like me Well... Well, let me ask this question. Ask. I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. Did she bribe the gods because they are the ones who vindicated her? Why? <laughs> me? Who speaks on behalf of the gods, Kanjua? Who? Uncle Papa UK. Mpepe mo kanu agabo. He will all fall like say sapje ilo. Until the raw foul tell her before us. Anyway, let me tell you. Let me just tell you something. You will either stay back and give me grandchildren. Or you pack your things and go back to your mother's or your father's house. You got to go. Then I will know that this marriage is over. I think it's gotten to that. It has gotten to that. Yes, I'm going to it is not going to happen. Yeah. Let me go here. I Yama. You heard her. Yes, Mama. I heard her. What are you going to do? Mama, I sincerely don't know. I just wish Obiajulu can resurface and tell me what to do at this point. Because I am in between the devil and the deep blue sea. I don't know what to do. Agnes. Agnes will be taught the lesson of her life. I so much believe in the way of the gods. So she plans to drag you on the mud and make you lose respect and relevance in Umutia. But she is the one to suffer all those things. Agnes, eager, tough, for Agnes, you will suffer. 
Nemesis and consequences will catch up with you. He had in the frame and okay. I heard the nonsense she's demanding from your sister. And I wonder why your sister has not locked her up. Exactly what I suggested. But my sister had refused to put that woman in her place. You won't even believe it that after all these things, she still sees her as her mother in law. No, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. Agnes. Well, you can't see the mother in her. But then, she can still be tamed. How yes. do we do that? Tame her with instrumentality of law. It's not today we started seeing people like her. But anyway, you have my number, right? Give it to your sister. Tell her to call me if she needs help. But Ma, let me just give you her own number. So you can actually call her if you really want to help her. I know Obioma, she will never want to call you. <laughs> that means she's comfortable with the trauma and frustration. My dear, I cannot be begging her to allow me help her, you know? Just give her my number. If she really needs help, I can help. Okay? Sorry, ma. Seems this woman has bewitched my sister. Mama. Mama, what is it? You see that house? You are no more going to that house again. Mama, that Not house you're mama. talking about is my husband's house. My home. That place, is that where you call your home? A home is where you live and have a peace of mind. What that kind of a place that has been giving you nothing but headache and nightmare since the death of your husband? Mama, do you expect me to leave my house? Because my mother-in-law does not like me. Is that what you expect me to do? I am not going anywhere. I won't leave it. I have told you several, Mama. Everybody has their point. That woman is just a woman who is hot. She's only acting out of frustration. A lot of things has happened to her. She lost her only child. Mama, she has her point. Eh? What's her point? What is the point? Obiyama. Are you trying to adhere to that woman's abominable suggestions for you to start having children for your late husband? Even as you're still wearing white, as you're still mourning him. Obioma, I'm a guitarist, Nanya. You are only 32. Mama, and also a widow, which you will no longer be if you will agree with me to remarry when you remove this thing you're wearing. Mama. And I'm going back to my house in the city. I will call you when I get home. Bye-bye. I'm going to feed you the all the time. You are renewing your future, Obiyama. You are renewing your future. Mama, you are right. I am an adult. I'm not a baby. I know what I want. And I will not leave my husband's house because some woman who claims to be a scorpion is living with me. No, I won't. I will go back to my home and handle this like a woman that understands her husband. You don't understand anything, my child. Obioma, you don't know what you are doing. I'm warning you, seriously, drawing you close. You know, I fish You a tree by I'm a She did what? And you didn't tell me all this while? Oma? I'm sorry I wanted to, but on a second thought, I, I didn't. Apparently you didn't. Oma, I told you this woman is out for you. Are you just going to sit there, fold your hands, and allow her to detect your every move? I know where you're heading to. I am no way... Taking my mother-in-law to court. I won't. Please. And what are you going to do about this? Listen, Barrister Ikedi. I know even before you became my husband's attorney, you were friends. I see this someone that can understand me. I need a good listener. Someone I can talk to. But you are not even listening to me. I have told you the best thing to do to get this problem solved. But you wouldn't listen to me, Omar. Oh, 
You're not making my job any easier. You're not, I must say. I am sorry. But I just can't take my mother-in-law to court. There should be any other way. I know you have great confidence in this woman and her supposed change. Well, that's by the way. I got something for you. You got something for me? Yeah. What is it? A job. You yeah. got me a job? What kind of job is that? Well, I saw this uh, advert placement for a job, a teaching job actually. And uh, you are the person that came to my mind. Oh. Yes. And I spoke to them about it and they said you can come for an interview. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Ikidi. I really appreciate this. No, anything for Thank you. you so anything much. for you. Anything for you. So, give me your words that you'll go for the interview. I promise. Please, you can start from there because nobody knows what this woman is up to next. And let's see how it goes. Thank you so much. Okay. My sister. I do not have problem with a childless widow staying back in her husband's house to bear children for him. Okay, so what do you have problem with? Okay. Agnes, so. Okay. Agnes is my problem. Eh? How can she be this abominable? How can she plan for her own daughter-in-law who is still wearing her morning clothes to start moving around, sleeping with men? You know what? The more I listen to you talk, the more it dawns on me that you're not as advanced as I thought you are. Hi. Yes. I'm very keen No, but I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I thought you brought me here for us to plan the best punishment for Agnes and brief the mother. Ma, please, 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 mind your utterances. I did not bring you here to be insulted. In an even now, if you are talking about mother, then how do you mean? The mere fact that she's making such suggestion to a mourning woman can only mean one thing. She's evil and needs to be put in her place. <laughs> yes, now. You have a point there. But if a woman wants yeah, that my daughter sees it differently. Wait. Differently as in. <laughs> you, you know the problem I have with Doma? She has refused to make a case against her. Yes. Exactly. She feels frustration is leading Agnes into what she's doing. My daughter actually feels that Agnes has a point. <laughs> now listen to me. You need to tell Oma. Let her know that Agnes has no point. Let her run off with her money and make a decision. I suggest she remains where she is. <laughs> Unable to do so, then she must be the one to decide her future. Not and never Agnes. And decide. Okay, yes. That's what I have been saying. Where are you coming from? I repeat myself. Where are you coming from? Mama, I went to see a friend. Oh, really? Male or female? Excuse me? I don't understand, Mama. Am I in some interrogation room or something? I went to see my friend. The last time I checked, you never. Give it them about me. Why do you care all of a sudden? Well, it is my business because you live under my son's roof. I don't want you going out there spoiling my son's name. Coming from a woman who cares about her son's name. <laughs> so the one you wanted me to do with Uteta is not messing up, right? Of course it is not. That is a private arrangement done behind closed doors. No one needs to know who got you pregnant. Eh? And for your information, a woman like you should think of how to ensure that her husband's lineage continues in a decent way, not hopping all over the place. Mama, please, I beg you. I am so tired. I need to go up there, rest, take my bit of... Uh, please, get me something to eat. <laughs> Excuse me. Mama, there are lots of choices to be made from the refrigerator. Why do I have to cook something else? I don't feel like eating any of those things. All right? I want something fresh. And by the way, please, don't stuff the freezer up with all these things you cook and pile there. No one is going to eat them except you. You see, from now on, I want you to make me fresh food. If I need something, I call you. Or Bioma, prepare this for me. You go right ahead and do it. Fresh. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> and I, I, I'll be needing fried plantain. <laughs> I have to bang in the door. Fri with, with, with chicken sauce this time around, not egg. Thank you. Coming. Mama. Good morning, Mama. I said, no, Mama. What are you doing this early morning? Painting your face with the different colors of African flags. Hey! Mama, I said good morning. Keep your morning to yourself, my dear. Anyway, is my breakfast ready? Yes, Mama. Where is it? It's in the kitchen. Which kitchen? Mama, the cabinet close to the gas cooker. Just down below. Draw it out and you see. As a matter of fact, I made your favorite. You see, the lower part. Why didn't you keep it at the upper part? I've got trouble, okay, Nacho? Go to Anyway. Yeah? Okay, Nacho, mother's early morning. Where are you going? I'm going somewhere, Mama. Somewhere? Somewhere that doesn't have a name? Mama, ask somewhere. Ask catch like, I'm going out of the town, but I'll be back soon. Somewhere outskirts of the city. Is that where you now meet your young men? <laughs> it's obvious I have become an obstacle within the city. Now we try migrate outside the city and continue seeing your men. Mama, please stop it. With all due respect, as you can see, I am very busy. And I will not let you ruin my day with your attitude. I have an interview to attend to. As long as you answer my daughter-in-law, your life is already ruined. Come and go, let me see. And for your information, that food had better be tasty. If not, you see why I'm in the outskirts. Be a guy can What if I don't, Mama? Why is she like this? Why won't this woman let me have friends in my husband's house? Why? Princess Hereta, please, I don't want to be in your bad book. I know how you report things differently to the Queen, and I don't want that. Excuse me. Are you silly? What's the meaning of that? My princess, I am sorry. Madame Kudi took the decision. And I think the queen gave her instructions. All of you are fools. Leave my face. Leave! Leave! Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, please, my name is Obioma. I'm here for the interview. Okay. Mm, you are late already. The interview is almost done. Huh. But you can come on. I can? Yeah. Thank you. Do you know what to do? No, I don't know. I guess this way. No. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, my princess. If you permit me, I can explain. You see, the queen insisted I do it that way. Stop giving excuses, you fool! As old as you are, you can't get anything right! Will you stop it? Stop talking to her like that. What is going on here? I'm sorry, miss. This doesn't concern you. You should leave from here. I know it does not concern me. But you shouldn't as well stand there and watch this kid talk to her like that. She is the princess. And so what? So because she's the princess, you think it is right for her to talk to this woman in, in that tone? Listen to me, miss. You have to apologize to her right now. She is old enough to be your mother. I mean, a young girl like this growing up to be a woman, you think this is going to be better for you? 
apologize. I am talking to you. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that the king would not do anything about this, even if he's reported? Nothing? Who are you? And what gave you the right to speak to my princess in such tone? Um, greetings, your majesty. I didn't really mean to talk to her like that. Just that the tone she was, the tone she used in talking to the lady wasn't nice at all. So I had to reprimand her. This little angel is the princess of Abata Kingdom, in case you do not know. And she has every right to do whatever she wants to do any time and any day. Yes, your majesty, you're right. But I feel as a little girl, she ought to be taught so many things about life. The way she was talking to the woman wasn't good at all. Who the hell are you to lecture me on how? to raise my child. What have you come here for? I am sorry, my name is Obioma. I came for the interview. Unbelievable! You are here for the interview and you are already pulling weight. That I did not push you out is because I have been advised against such. Now I want you to look at where the interview is holding before I change my mind. Now. I'm sorry. I will take you to the venue. Please follow me. I want you to start talking. Explain to me what just happened. I am sorry, madam. I thought... Frustrating her life like this, do you think that will make her bend to your will? I mean, what do you hope to gain in all of this? Your head. I hope to gain your head. Tell me, are you part of the group that is working so hard to ensure that my son's legacy is, uh, is wasted? Are you? Mama... Why are you twisting what I just said? What you just said was not what I meant. Oh, that's exactly what you meant. You're working so hard to take over everything that my son left behind. Come on, Mrs. Onyelin Kalu. What is wrong with you? Why do you always have the worst of imaginations? I mean, have you forgotten your late son happens to be my very good friend? Really? Your very good friend. How am I supposed to believe that? Now tell me. I mean, who started this? Whose plan is it? Yours has? Or both of you? No, explain to me. I will understand. Me and who? I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, please. Stop pretending. Stop being an unrepentant he-goat. I beg your pardon? I did not come here for you to insult me. I'm a man of high principle. Oh, will you shut up? Oh, sh sh shut up! Shut up that unprincipled mouth of yours. Look at you. You're just an idiot. You call me an idiot? And that is what you are. Do not say I didn't warn you when the writ of someone will be brought to you. Well, do I even blame you? If not for Oma who is keeping you in this house, and tolerating all your wild behaviors? Don't worry. Just one call and signature of hers, and your backside will be on hot seats. Oh, you look who's talking about backside. Now you carry your nasty backside out of my You house. just heard me. Look at people with backside. Get this backside of yours out of my house. You see, it? you're talking of backside because that's what you're interested in. On your chest backside, that's what you're eyeing. Ewu, 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 woo, woo. I'll be about that soon more evil. Rubbish. I'm sorry, Mama. I was pressed. I need to ease myself. So you were saying something you could get rich. You're sounding like you're a good person. But it's obvious you have started a new war. You've gone out there, 
gossiping with my name? Eh? Uncle Lucy. Mama, please, if you're looking for a fight, I do not have strength for it right now. I beg you in the name of God. I'm tired. You're tired. May thunder strike that you're not. May that mouth be bent. You're tired. You should have thought about it before you started going around town spreading rumors with my name. Mama, let's face the truth. Whatever they told you, don't you do them. Are they not true? Haven't you frustrated me enough that you need to give up at this point? Are you not tired? Now listen, I will never be tired until you produce children for my late son. Mama, the last time I checked, I am not a baby making machine and I will never be one. Mama, I had a very stressful day today, a very bad one at that. I don't even know if my problem is partly coming from me facing you early in the morning before going for my interview. But I am famished. I need to go make something to eat. Please. Your days will always be bad because you will continue seeing my face every morning before you leave this house. But you see you. Igamu, Igamu, Ozuzuake, Ozuzuafo, Ozuzungu, Igamu Fancha. You must give me children, whether you like it or not. It can't afford you soon. Nonsense. If you like, you can say anything you want about me. It doesn't even touch me. Mani Fulomo. Uh, mother, I, I don't want you to misinterpret what I'm about to say. Uh, I don't want it to look like I'm going back and forth on this matter. But I was just thinking, you know, the idea of getting, uh, getting a, a home teacher for the kids, you think it's really the best? Because I would have preferred to send them into the world, you know, for them to interact with other kids so they can develop from there. Oh, come on, Miss Una, no. That's not nice. Look at you. You were homeschooled. And look at how you turned out. That's exactly what I want for my grandkids. Besides, I wouldn't want them sharing and pattern ways with commoners. Yes, that's how revolutionary ideas are being taught in a centurial. And before you know it, they will start talking ill of royalty. All right, all right. Yeah, that reminds me, I, I took a look at the files of candidates mm. for the interview. I noticed a particular resume was folded any reason why? Oh, that particular one. I folded that one. It's for the trash basket. So mm. let it be. Really? Uh, did poorly, I guess. She was not even interviewed. Why? <laughs> you can't believe it. That fool didn't know her place. She had the effrontery to reprimand her rita. Such boldness. I wanted to forgive her, <laughs> but on a second thought, I changed my mind and I asked her out of the palace. She, yes. she did that? You heard me, Zuna. Honestly speaking, she got me angry to the extent I almost slapped the living daylight out of her eyes. But that's by the way. Well. I have narrowed the prospective ones that work with us. So I would like you to look at them. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't see those ones. Where are they? Um, they should be in your room. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at them. It's all right. All right, mom. I, I really have to go to bed now. <laughs> You know, I can't believe you told her. I mean, that was all I could do to keep her away from stressing you up. I mean, she needs to know 
that in all of this, you still have an edge over her. You just gave this woman the cue to cut it off. Now you tell me, what if she did it overnight? No, I doubt. I don't think she will have such kind of mischievous thoughts at heart to do that. I doubt it. Now, enough of that, please. Uh, how did the interview go? What did the interviewer say? Omar? Mama, talk to me. How did it go? Fine. If you insist, there was no interview. No interview? But you told me you went for the interview. Yes, I told you I went for the interview. And I'm just telling you that there was no interview. I mean, there are two different things. So, what happened? I didn't get to the interview hall. That was what happened. What do you mean by you didn't get to the interview hall? I was reprimanded because I cautioned the child, I mean the prison's daughter. She was so rude. She needed to have been there. You needed to have seen the way she was ordering the servants like I was wrong. Oh man. So many things are not right. I mean, you wouldn't have gotten yourself involved with what those royalties were doing. You simply went there for a job. What are you saying? What's the essence of me teaching those children if I cannot tell them to respect their other ones? Tell me. You know, this is why I stopped this teaching in the first place. And asked Sophia Judy to open this market for me. As a matter of fact, I think I should just quit it. It's not meant for me. Which apparently you don't have a control over anymore. For the meantime, before you decide to go on a head on with your mother-in-law, I think you should use your certificate for something else. Something more useful. I think that will help a great deal. If you ask me, you know, you're actually making sense though, but as for going back to the palace, I can't because they will never take me. Really? I'm telling you, it's that bad. My sister has gone mad. She's a fool. Why would she do a thing like that? Why? I don't know. I don't know why Obama will not listen to me. I don't. Mama, you sure say that woman never fry her brain? Because that's the only reason something like that would happen to her. And she will still have the mind to go back to that house. To that devil. That woman is original devil. Second in command to Satan. She really is. She really is that. But will your sister ever listen to me? I wish I was at home when that happened. I would have given it to her the way she likes it. But how come nobody called me? Why? You see, that Madame Agnes, she was lucky. But Mama, what do we do? We can't just leave sister to her devices just like that. She might not admit it, but she's going to burn in hell if nothing is done to save her. How do you save someone if not by telling and warning the person when and where necessary. Your sister's case is different. Eh? Yeah? She will, she, she won't the aunt to bite her before she learns her lesson. <sighs> Mama, you're here. I've been looking everywhere for you. The, the food is ready. Mama? I said your food is ready at the so What if my food is ready? Did I tell you I'm hungry? Eh? Sorry, Mama. It's just that the way you were rushing me to prepare. To, to prepare what? Listen. When I'm ready to eat, I know my way to the kitchen, okay? Okay, Mama. Stop Sorry. rushing me. Uh -huh. Um, Mama, I was meaning to ask you for something. Uh -huh. um, did I ask you to sit down? And sit. Yeah. Ask me for what? Mama, I wanted to ask you for some money. 
What are you doing with some money? I need to purchase some sanitrate, some, you know, body cream and some of my body care products is finished. I need to stop them up. You need money to buy body cream. I mean, look at your complexion already and you want to buy cream for, the, for your body. What kind of nonsense is that? You know the shame. You know the shame. Mama, why should I be ashamed of myself? Because I rub cream on my skin. Mama, every woman has moisturizer for their skin. And besides, Mama, if you did not truncate my business or freeze my account, I wouldn't be here asking you for this money. Really? My dear, there are a lot of cheap creams out there that you can use. You don't have to buy any moisturizer. In short, what are we talking about? You should go and use Udako. Original Udako, it's the best for your skin. Once you put it on your skin, Ariana, one more more. And in case you don't have it, I do have it in my room. I could give you some. Mama, Papa, I should use Udako. Yes, besides, you're not being productive. So what, what other cream do you think you can afford? Use Udako and, 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 and get your skin, skin to glitter. Or if you want to use something else, you do what I'm asking you to. You become productive then. You can buy all the moisturizers in the whole world. Um, <coughs> Mama. <laughs> it is very obvious to me that you do not want to give me the money. When you see this issue of having a child or not, I don't have strength for it. Money for you. Thank you. Listen, I have a gallon of Udako under my bed. Mata chain wanting to kin at an arukine glow. Ee telling you Daco. Or Daco is it. Now I know. Yeah, hello? Yes, I am Obioma Oyilin Karo. Um, I was with them. Uh, yes, I submitted my regime, I did. I was even sitting with every other person before I was asked to leave. What? Really? Huh. Thank you so much. Thank you, yes, I will be there. I will. Thank you, thank you so much. Not an answer to my question, young lady. What are you doing here? I was actually. I invited her, mother. What? You did what? Why would you do that? Because she deserves a fair chance at this, just like everyone else. Izuna, did you miss the part where I said that she? was not knowing the very first day she made my princess cry. Did you? I already asked questions, mother. And for me, she did nothing wrong. She merely corrected a child, as should any adult. Isona, you have about 15 candidates strictly scrutinized for this position. And not just with credentials, but acumen to handle this. This thing is not needed. Hey, get out. Your services won't be needed here. Now, out. On the contrary, mother. Her services are very much needed here. Really? You're hired. 
do you think you can start possibly this week? Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa! Come on, Your Majesty. Why are you holding brief for him? Why? Calm down, my queen. I am sure he has a good reason for doing what he did. A good reason to disrespect my churchmen and hire that woman? Come on, Your Majesty. He is disrespecting me. Anyways, <laughs> one thing I'm sure of is that Herietta can never accept her. Believe me, she won't. I am sure my son is not stupid, my queen. And I trust him to make the best decision when it comes to the kids. Just relax and let him handle this, okay? Fine. How about Henry? As vibrant and agile as he could ever be. We've been good. Alright then, when are you coming back? Honestly, I, I think you should come back and talk some senses into your son. Well, we will be home in two to three days. Don't worry. I am going to call his son now. Alright? Just stay cool. It's alright. Thank you. I'm sorry for what you had to go through in there. Uh, she can be overbearing sometimes no problem i understand but you know i feel you were a little bit harsh in her in there you don't think so no i had to it was necessary okay you know i really understand what you're doing here all the second chance and all that but i will have to decline this i don't think i'm interested anymore why is that? My friends, I couldn't make it to my interview because I interfered in a matter that does not concern me. And now, this, I'm sure your sister will never like me. So, what's the need to work here? I thought we were both on the same page that I'm doing the right thing for her. And by the way, Princess is not my sister. She's my daughter. This is a joke, right? You're, you're what? I'm her father. She and her twin, Henry, they are my kids. Oh my goodness. You are a father to twins? Wait. <laughs> you're blessed. You know, you're so lucky. I'll take that. Oh, no, as a compliment. Yeah, I understand you may be having second thoughts about the, this matter, but uh, it's okay, it's all right. It's, it's expected. I mean, any reasonable person would. But you are one out of many, I believe, can get through to them the way I like. How do you mean? Don't worry, you would understand when you stopped. No, you don't do that to me. You tell me what you mean. Why do I feel you're hiding something from me? What are you not telling me? You would understand when you start, Omar. All right, so right now, I need you to think over it again. You know, give it a thought. Deeper thought, if you like. So if I see you here tomorrow, that's an indication that um, you have decided to give this a try and a go at it. And then we take it up from there, all right? <clears throat> okay, let's just say my prince just gave me second chance and they were scared of, so who am I? Thank you, my prince. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow. You're always welcome. And take care of the kids. Anytime. And don't be too harsh <laughs> anymore. I'll try. Okay, I'll see you.
My darling princess, why are you staring at me as if you have something to say? Okay, sit down. Let me hear. Daddy, I don't want her. I know that already, darling. But unfortunately, you don't get to choose your teachers. And teachers, on the other hand, don't get to choose their students. It just happens. And it has happened here. Daddy, you don't understand. I don't like her. She's mean. Isn't that a good thing, then? At least you try not to be in her black books. So she won't get to punish you. What? She's going to have the power to punish me. What sort of a teacher would be denied the right to punish his or her students? Certainly it wouldn't start here. Sweetheart, all you need to do is just be a good girl for daddy. Hmm? Mm. That's the only sense of all this. Mm. Okay. Come here. Give daddy sugar. Give daddy some sugar. Sugar, sugar. Over here. <laughs> now, apart from paper qualifications, she has the, the kind of orientation I need for you and your brother, Henry. So, she is your teacher. Hello, Princess and Rector. How are you? Awesome, awesome, <laughs> interesting. You know, having him around is always lots of fun. Mm. <laughs> Father, welcome home. How are you, son? Very well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. How's the trip? Beautiful. Beautiful trip by heart. <laughs> Come here. And uh, where is my little princess? Why is she not here? Well, she has been held up in her room. Because someone wouldn't listen to the voice of wisdom and got her annoyed. Oh, I can see. Uh, you must be the new teacher that got hired, I was informed. Are you the one? Yes, sir. My name is Mrs. Opiomao Ilinkaru. Oma for short. Oma for short? You are a pretty woman. No, please, don't even go there. I'm just saying. You understand? And I, your husband must have the eye. You're going to be our Tisha. Dad, that's so cool. I know, right? <laughs> nice. You know, my son, I think I'm going to leave you to run through the protocols. Yes. I sure. trust you absolutely. I will be upstairs. If I'm needed for anything, you just get back to me, okay? All right, Dad. Welcome back. Are you coming with me? Are you staying with your dad? <laughs> Come with me. Go upstairs. Come with me. Come with me. I'll join you soon. Are you coming, sweetheart? This is that palace of Abata Kingdom where I have a say. Soon you will understand. Don't let that bother you. I'm sure she eventually will. All right, and um, I hope that display didn't um, throw you back, because they can be sometimes unreasonably overbearing. No, really, I'm fine. I mean, it's not every day you see a stranger in your house. I'm not get worried. I'm glad you understand. All right, so let me run you through some of the do's and don'ts of the palace, most especially as they relate to my kids. Okay. All right, so if you'd come with me. Do you think confrontation will solve any problem? Well, it depends on what you mean by confrontation. 
Now listen to me. Agnes Uirikalu is a devil. And she needs to be put in her place. Else she will destroy your daughter. But my daughter is insisting that she knows what she is doing. I have even asked her to make up her mind and remarry. But Oma will not listen. Mm -hmm. What else do you want me to do? I had asked her to call me, but she hasn't made the call. I think what I'll have to do now is I'll be calling her by myself. Just give me a number. Give me, give me, let me call. It has been said that you are one of the women who believe the men and the women are the same. That there is no gender superior to another. Is that what you want to teach my daughter? Can I have a number? My princess, I know you are really angry with us. And from what we know, you will implicate everyone when you report us to the king. So we came to plead with you to exclude us in your report. We have nothing to do with what is happening. I'm angry with the teacher, not with any of you. From what we know, she is not harmful. She is actually doing everything possible to make you a better citizen of the world. Really? Both of you are sick. Leave my room! Leave! Leave! Honestly speaking, I can't believe you acted so cool with that. True. Don't tell me you trust this girl so much because I do not trust her one bit. She could be a kidnapper. She could be a wicked mistress or she could or be- she could equally be a very nice person who is doing everything humanly possible to make a decent living for herself. Only do you are a queen of a thriving kingdom and I am thinking it is only right for you to learn how to give people some space, allow them, give them benefit of the doubt. I just do not trust her. And I'm asking you why? Is it because she reprimanded the princess? Of course. She talked rudely to her. She made her cry. Now, if you allow that girl to come in and start walking, do you know what that girl could do? Well, I must have to let you know that in all honesty, I am not wholly in line with this homeschooling idea you brought up. But somehow, I align with my son in his frame of thought. You see, these people that are working in this palace, they have not been so wonderful in raising the kids. They have been too lenient on them. And that is why the way they are growing, I am not so comfortable with that, especially Henrietta. You know it yourself that Henrietta has no respect. She talks to people anyhow. She, her reasoning is not good. And somebody should be able to train Henrietta so that she will grow to understand what it means to be a lady. Did you just say lady? Yes. Come on, she's just a child. What does she know? She knows exactly the things we are teaching her here. And she's going to grow up in life believing that those things that she has learned here are the best. But you and I know that something is missing. You have not, you have not taught her what she's supposed to know. The things she should know as a woman. You have not done it yourself and you know it. And I am thinking there is nothing wrong in somebody who is coming here now to do just that. At least, if not for anything. Somebody should be able to teach Henrietta what it means to have good manners. So what are you trying to say? That is entirely my fault. I, I am not trying to blame anybody. But what I am saying is that my son has made a decision and I, I think I like that decision that he has made. Let us give this lady the space that she needs. Let us start to walk in the palace. If she is good in the job, good for everybody. But if she's not good, we show her the door. What do you think? Of 
Come on, my love. Open the door, okay? Sweetheart. My princess. You cannot go to bed on an empty stomach. Henrietta, please, come on. Come on. Open the door for me. It's me, your brother. Please, let me in. What's happening here? Why are you all here? Mom? Do not ask me such question. You caused it. It's all your fault, so deal with it. Daddy, please just let me to open the door. She's not talking to me and she doesn't want to eat. It's okay, it's okay. Um, let me hand handle this, okay? Let me handle this. But it's not coming out of our room. It's okay, Henry. Alright? Uh, just, like I said, let me handle this. So you go to your room and um, I'll have her come see you before she goes to bed. Hmm? Hmm? Henrietta, darling, it's daddy. I know you're awake. Open the door. Oh, God, where will he get involved? <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> I know you are angry at me because of the choice I've made for you. But you don't have to because it is in your best interest. No, you can't chase her away and choose another person. But she's a good person. She's mean and wicked. She's going to hit me. Only if you deserve it. But hey, it's not going to get to that point, okay? I promise she's not going to hurt you, alright? Daddy, please tell her not to come. Please. Sweetheart, you're gonna have to trust my choice on this one, okay? I put your future first in everything I do, which is exactly what I did. Unless, would you want to go back to school like no. I originally planned? No, no. Then you have to make do with this. You have to work it out. All right. Listen, you don't have to like her. Yeah. You know what? I never really did like my teachers when they taught me while really? in school. Yeah. So you can do the same thing. Because what I did was I tried my best not to be on their wrong side. You know, so you could just do anything she asks you to do. And she won't have any reason to punish you. Should I tell you a secret? Yes. Just that. Just that. Okay, I'll do that. Good. Now oh, that's my angel. That's the girl I love. <laughs> you know daddy loves you. I love you too, daddy. <laughs> Alright, are you in the mood now for your dinner? Because the maids, they've been waiting out there. Uh, unless you want to come downstairs to eat at the table. No, I'll eat here. Alright then, I'll have them come bring you your food. The very best. Daddy always brings the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my girl. All right. I love my daddy. I was only trying to prove a point. Why are you angry with me? Whatever point you wanted to prove, you would have joined me along. I'm sorry. 
I was talking to you and you refused to open. But I finally opened. That was when father came in. So if father did not come, you wouldn't have opened. But I said I'm sorry. Father gave me a secret. What secret? I'll only tell you when you say you're no longer angry with me. Last but most important rule in this palace is what you see, you don't see. What you hear, you don't hear. Am I understood? Yes, your majesty, but please, can you break it down for me? I don't really understand. Literally, what I'm saying is in this palace, you have to go blind, deaf, and dumb. Nothing you hear or see in this palace leaves the four words of this place. Have I made myself clear now? Yes, ma. Okay. Did you just call me, ma? No, no, ma, your majesty. I am the wife of a great one king. Dummy. I'm sorry. Good. Now bear in mind that you report to me first. Whatever you deem punishable, they do. Okay. All right then. You. Yes, your majesty. Take care, out. So, today we're going to be talking about etiquette and courtesy. We have to talk about um, the tones which you use to interact with your elderly ones, manners, how to communicate with people with polite voice. And you know, so many people, um, you know, flare up as linked to provocation. They hardly forgive, they don't know how to forgive people. But by the time we go through this, um, I mean, the article and the topic for today, we will understand why we're treating etiquette and courtesy. Do you understand what I just said? Are you sure? So what did I just say? You were talking about etiquette and courtesy. Very good. And you, Henrietta? I just want to be left alone. Excuse me? Why would you say that? Why would you ask me to leave you alone? It means I'm not interested in what you're saying. But you need what she's saying. She's making sense. I don't need her sense. I just want to be left alone. Listen to me, Henrietta. You think the world is all about this palace, right? You're wrong. When you go out there, you will be meeting a whole lot of people with different manners. And if you want to survive, then you have to learn how to interact with people decently. Do you understand me? Don't ever be like her, Rita. Okay? I can understand that she's angry at the moment, but never mind, I can handle it, okay?
haven't told anyone I want to become an artist. Why am I doing this? Look at my hair. I think that we like it. I just want to be in my room. But you cannot continue to be in your room. <sighs> Sweetheart, art is life. It's another means for people to reflect on their thoughts. Listen, a couple of times people look at the same work of art and have different interpretations. I am here to guide you to take good decisions in life. So have you made your own good decision and you're here? <sighs> yes. I did. As a matter of fact, I am here because I have peace. I teach both of you because it gives me peace. I like the thing she says. I just want to be in my room. Can I go to my room? Please. Listen attentively. I want you to tell me the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Who have you been going out to see? Mama. What's the meaning of this? Where is this coming from? Who is the man? I, I don't have any man. And I only go to do my job and come back. Oh, oh, you have a job. If you don't want to you have a job. Mama, I do not just have a job. I have a job that pays me handsomely well. Isn't that what you've always wanted? For what? me to step out of the house and then give you some space? What I have always wanted is for you to sleep with Utete. Mama, I will not do give it. Give me grandchildren. I will Utete. I will never disrespect my husband in such a manner. I mean, what are you talking about? The young man is handsome. Six packed. Loaded? Mama, how do you even know Utete is loaded if you have Because! Seen? Don't you see me in the mornings when he's watching the car? He's all there. He's all out there. And his buttocks flat. It will give you the right movement. Mama, when you don't just leave my room and shut my door. Now listen. You will sleep with Utete. Allow the young man to feel your warmth, to feel your fairness. Mama, please, can you leave? I need to rest. I have work tonight. Black and white. Oh, that will be a good one. Ute, Ute, hey. I like that boy. He will handle you well. Dream of Utete. I will never dream of Utete, Mama. I won't. Dream of Utete holding you in a loving manner. Ute, 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 Ute. Hey, that boy, eh? I like you. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, but I'm going to write this. I take it that you're getting used to the, the job and acquainted with the kids. Okay, which is it? The job or the kids? That's a whole lot. But anyways, I was wondering if you'll be back early today. Because I wanted us to have a talk. A talk? Is it something serious? Well, not that serious per se. But it depends on the angle we see it from. Okay, um, I'm actually going to work now, so I don't know how my day is going to look like. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Uh, how about we make it tomorrow? Um, I'll be home all day, so we can have enough time to talk about anything it is you want to talk about. Fine by me. It's okay. Yeah. All right then. But um, if I am back early, we can still have the meeting, right? Of course, fine. All right, that's fine. Have a nice day. Thank you for waiting to have this discussion with me. Really appreciate it. Never mind. I should be the one saying thank you. All right. So who do we begin with? Henry? <laughs> Henry is a wonderful child. He's amazing. I mean, you should be grateful for having such a child. Yeah, Henry is a charming child. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. How about Henrietta? Hmm. Henrietta, well, she's amazing, smart, beautiful, stubborn, blunt, so rude, and she has this nasty attitude. But you know, sometimes I don't really blame her, even though she's smart and intelligent. I feel she has this, this character in her because she didn't grow up with her mother. You know, it happens to most of the child's has. Um, single parenthood and all that. She's not that bad. Um, I'm I'm sorry if I'm being blunt, but I just felt like I should tell you how. No, no, no it's okay. I I appreciate your honesty. In fact, uh, when it comes to them, um, I really like to know the ideal situation. So yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. So what do you propose? Well, I think I will start with their gadgets, their phones. It needs to be kept away from them. You know, kids, um, they need to spend more time with their lessons. They need to get a new lesson teacher, you know. Especially when I'm with them, teaching them some things, they need to drop their phones. I feel they're a little bit too young for it and it exposes them to so many things. You know how social media is at this age. And then I feel you should spend more time with them. Communicate with your kids. That's where you'll be able to know what they want and what they need. I'm sorry if I'm going out of line, but I had to oh my, you know, okay. fix this meeting to tell you exactly what those kids are lacking. I've been the one working with them all this while. And I really appreciate it. I, I mean, you're okay. I like your honesty and appreciate the fact that, I mean, you are their teacher, so... Um, you're telling me what's best for them, and that's what I'm really committed to. So, um, thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, let's, let's drink up. Please. Oh. Yeah. 
um, let me pour you a glass. I mean, I'm a prince, but I'm a gentleman too, you oh, know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I give you that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. I don't get it. She wants you to do what? I've already told you, Mom. And I, I, honestly, I see so much sense in it. Because the kids are becoming too addicted to, 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 to them like it's their drug. And I don't like it. Unbelievable. What is this? Are you on drugs or something? Really, Mom? You mean you don't see the good sense in that? There's no good sense in it, Dad. She wants to make our life boring. She's boring. She has no fun in her. There are other fun things you could do around here, Henrietta. Just like other kids of your age. But we are not like other kids. We are royalty. And royalty do not mingle with commoners. That's wonderful. We've been told that since we were born. Daddy, please, don't listen to her. She's bad. She's a bad teacher. She has no fashion in her. And hey! Enough! That is it. If I hear any more word like that from you to anyone in this palace, you would be grounded. And listen to me. That starts with you having breakfast with the rest of the family at the dining. Hey! No more breakfast in bed! Daddy! You must learn to, to, to be nice and respectful. don't look happy today. What's going on? Are you okay? You are bad. Snitch. Loose tongue. I hate snitches. Okay. I, I get it. But can I at least know what I've done? What did I do? What? You want to know? Like you need an explanation to know what you did. Miss, you stripped my kids of their fun toys. That's not nice. Miss Goody Toshu. If it's about that, I am sorry. But trust me, it has nothing to Stop do- Stop lying! I hate lies! You said I could trust, but you are just like the rest of them. Liars and cheaters. I hate you! I hate you too! Uh, but oh, you hurt them? They do not like you. Now get out! Hey. Let the poor girl be. Give her space to do her job, please. Um, but thank you, Your Majesty, for coming to my aid. No. It's nothing. It's not as if I don't know what is happening. I know everything. You know, it is so clear that the kids are simply throwing tantrums. They will come around. Definitely. I... I hope you're not planning to leave because of this. No, 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 I am not. My king, but how did you know I was planning to quit? It's written all over you, in your forehead and everywhere. I mean, anybody who can understand can readily see you are planning to leave, but I'm going to ask you not to do that because that is not the best, the best thing to do now. I think you need to come with me because uh, there is every reason for you to be exposed to a lot of explanations. And if you don't mind, please, can you come with me? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. One minute. Your Majesty. What is this? And there is something I need you to understand. My wife can be quite overbearing sometimes. And actually, she can be condescending equally. But I need you to understand something. That every single thing my wife has done is because of those kids. Contrary to what people are thinking out there, life has not been very easy for my wife, just like the paint. 
She has made a lot of sacrifices for those kids. You're right, Your Highness. I can tell. You can't. In all honesty, you can't. And there is something I need you to understand. I am not actually bothered. I am not bothered in the sense that there are so many things that I am not supposed to explain to anybody. But I am going to give you that explanation because I think the time is right for me to give you that. A lot. A lot has changed in the lives of those kids since you started taking them on, on the classes. Something that never happened before. And it appears to me as if a very huge burden has been lifted off the shoulders of my son. And you are the one where you are giving credit for that. Considering all that, my dear, do you actually think that uh, it is right for you to to forget about all those things simply because of that little tantrum, that little confusion of the other day? Your Highness, the truth is the kids, they don't like me. It's that simple. No, but they never liked anybody. It's equally that simple. And there's something in me is telling me you are indeed um, an outstanding woman for you to so easily get along with the kids. And there must be something unique about you that made it possible not for you to have run away after hearing some of the things they say to people all the time. The mere fact that you stay, the mere fact that you are able to be a order will actually confirm what I am thinking, that something is very unique about you. So, considering all that, don't you think it is only right for you to give it more time? Teach them by hurting and calling them names? Huh? Is that it? She ruined my phone. And so effing what? What's the phone that you had to treat her in that manner? She's just a kid for God's sake. Did you just call this girl a kid? She is not a kid. This girl has been a bone in my throat and I'm going to treat you accordingly. That's enough! I will not have you call my kids derogatory names or insult them. Most especially my presence. Are you mad? You scold a kid so badly because of a common phone? Did you just call my phone a common phone? I'm not surprised. Yes, it is a common phone to you. But trust me, the memories inside this phone are priceless to me. Those memories were my husband's. My late husband. Our memories together, all thanks to your daughter. She ruined everything. I don't give a damn. Get out. Pardon? I said, get out. And don't bother coming back. Your services are no longer needed here. Fine. I will go. I'm not even thinking of coming back. Not after this. I'm so sorry.
Escuche. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Who are you? Sorry, who are you? This is my husband's house. Excuse me? My husband's house. <laughs> who brought you into my house? I asked a question. Who the hell brought you into my husband's house? What do you mean who brought <laughs> Mama? Mama? Wait! Hold on! Mama? Mama? Yes. Who is that thing I saw Wait, wait, wait. Are you out of your mind? Am I know you're calling a thing? Calm down. You can leave us some ambulance. Okay. Mama, who is that Mongolian egg? Where did you pick her from? Who did she tell you she is? Mama, she told me that this house is her husband's house. Was she joking? <laughs> She's not joking. She's actually right. This is her husband's house. She's here to perform the duty that you refused to perform. Mama, this is a joke, right? Because there is no way this is happening in this house. It's not a joke. Because it has already happened. Mama, this is my house. My late son's house. A son you murdered in cold blood. Mama, I am trying so hard to tolerate all your excesses. But you know what? What you just did now shows you've crossed your boundary. This is the height of it. The bottom line here is that Uche is here to stay. She is going to have children for my son. A job you blatantly refused to do. So why are you complaining? Mama, to have kids is not a job. I should do them willingly. Yes, and I refuse to go on with all your ridiculous ideas because I love your son. Regardless of the fact that he's dead, I still love him. Yes, I do. And I refuse to taint his name. Oh, well, then if you don't want to taint his image, then leave. You can't be here and still want to leave. Leave. We don't need you. Uche is not going anywhere. You have to choose one. It's either you're going or you're staying. Which one are you choosing? Mama, why are you doing this to me? Why are you bent on pushing me to the wall? Why are you pushing me to my breaking point? If you get to the wall, break it and continue running. I will push you and I'll keep pushing you until you leave this place. Alright? Uche is here to stay. She will do that that you refuse to do. She will give me grandchildren. George, move on Turn around and back. Can you see me? <laughs> we had to be guests. I had to go to the guy. Uh, Uche! Uche, Chupu! Because get me a, a, a glass of brandy. I'm not going to get a woman. I'm not going to get a woman. I'm not going to get a woman. I'm not going How could she do this to me? Why? Why would she do something like this? I don't even have a phone anymore. She must have reasons she did what she did. Reasons, my foot. Reasons, you said. 
All she does was to bully my grandchildren. That's all. And I warned you. I also warned you ahead of time, but no way. But you tagged me. I hated her. That's all. Enough, mother. I told you I already fired her. So what's the fuss about? Too late, if you ask me. Too late, Izuna. If you ask me, that girl deserves to be jailed. Does it? Your Majesty, what do you think? I think we need to arrest that girl. That's <laughs> all. Can't you see you're already crossing your boundary? Are you now the one telling me what I will do? Please, Olivia. You know what? You had a hectic day and I think you need rest. Just go in and rest. Please. In that case, I'll go see my grandchildren. I'll pick your staff. Thank you very much. Father, I was thinking you were going to say something to me. Isuna, I am not going to say anything because I believe strongly your conscience has already told you exactly what I wanted to say. You were very, very hard with your punishment. And I want you to think about it. What? Oma, she did what? That woman has got some nerves. She traveled for a week, came back to the house with some girl. I don't even know where she brought, I mean, she picked her up from. Only for her to tell me that she is Obiachelo's wife. She had the guts to bring that thing into my house. My husband's house. Damn it. That woman is so unbearable. When will she ever learn to stop? I don't know. You know, I can understand that she does not like me from the day one. She, she is ruthless and does not have a conscience. But this is the height of it. She is crossing her boundary. But at least you would have called me. You would have called me to come there to put things in the right places. Why didn't you call I me? I wanted to call you again. Trust me. But you see, my, my phone was 40. 40? Oma, how? Listen, I'm not here to go into details and all that. I just want to know what to do with this woman. She is driving me nuts. What would my late husband be thinking wherever he is? That I wasn't able to control his home whilst he's gone? Damn it. This is ridiculous. I must say. She is not going anywhere. She is not going anywhere. She is married into this family and she's a part of this family. And there's nothing you nor this switch sitting beside me can do about it. Mama, don't you think you're overcrossing boundaries? Excuse me? What did you say? That I am overstepping my boundaries? You are the one overstepping your boundaries, yes. You're the one fornicating with my daughter-in-law. Mama. For as long as the gods of our lands know. I know everything. I know what is going on. I know what is happening. Mama, why do you always think the worst of me? Why? There's nothing good about you. I know what is happening behind closed doors. I know. I know what is happening behind closed doors. You think, you think I'm stupid or something? Hello? If I were you, I'll be very careful of the next word that comes out of my mouth. Excuse me? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Like I'm scared of you? <laughs> I'm shaking. Now listen and listen good. I know your plans, both of you. Yes! You want to get her pregnant. And then you will sign over my documents, my son's documents, everything, everything, and put it in your child's name, right? But guess what? The good Lord has exposed you all. Eh? Are It will not work. Oh, and by the way, did you see that beautiful girl out there? The shapey beautiful one. <laughs> Very soon she will fill this house with little feet, children, both boys and girls that will be running around. Something you could not do for the number of years you spent with my son. Enough! 
Enough of this nonsense. I Mama. can't take this. Ike, please! Ike, Mama, Papa. Ike, Ike, please wait. Also, Ike, Ike, what is, all you people know is Ike, 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 Ike. Eh? And he came here the other day and was still talking about backside. Come on! That shows you people have something in common. EK affair. Nonsense. EK, EK, please wait. EK, please. What? Wait. What, Omar? Didn't you hear her? What's the meaning of that nonsense? How can she be accusing me of all people with you? No, I mean, that is ridiculous. I, I know, wouldn't, I wouldn't I know take it that. is ridiculous, but please. You know how she gets. Just ignore her, please. You refuse to put her in her proper place, and that's why she's behaving like this. Everything your husband left became yours because he died interstate and you are his immediate family. So you don't allow her to push you around like a nobody. This is a woman that lost her only child. Her son. People grieve differently. She decided to mourn by putting the blame on everyone, especially me. But I have decided to accept it. It's my fate. Please, Ikidi, forgive her. I am begging on her behalf. Don't take anything she told you at heart, at all. Please. Well, human beings are like babies. You allow them to take a step, they take a mile. She has crossed all boundaries, I must say. And it's rather unfortunate. But allowing her push you into the corner like a nobody, it's rather too unfair. You should know what to do about that. But then again, I'm sorry, there is no going back on it. Ikedi, Ikedi, Mama, Mama, I have tried so hard. I have endured a lot of things for you. I have taken all your bullets because I know what it feels like to lose your son, your only child. But Mama, I will not continue to let you say things that question my decency as a woman. I am going to explode. And when I do, she will not be able to control me. So what's stopping you from exploding? Come on, baby, explode. It is her and pick up your pieces and trash it. You're going to explode. Like you're threatening me. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to explode since mom explode. <sighs> Mama, I am going Fucking I'm doing this with my hand. Joy! Now you're a good cook. Okay, I have your mama. Oh my, you don't have to keep telling me. No, I have to. I need to praise you. On your main fed you must sit up here. Hey! Do you know that since I moved into this house? I've never had anything this good. You're a good cook. <laughs> really, Mama? I swear. I'm oh. glad you like it. I love it. Mm. Mm. Ah, this is good. 
Hey, you see, you are not even a person. Some people just can't cook. <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. if she can't cook you something that you like, how come she's still in this house? No. She's here to poison me. So she will take over everything with her people. But no man walk. No man go there. This has been really hard for you. Someone should not have gone through this thing. I'm telling you. I don't know what she did to the Ezembo in the village. Hmm? That made the gods say that she's not guilty. But you know what? <laughs> I know that someday the gods will attack her for what she did to my son. They'll attack her front, back, side, up, down. I am in you. Hey! I'm from the Ah! Hmm. Good job, Mom. You're a good cook. Thank you, Mama. Mm. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. You have mama's dirty clothes. I was supposed to wash them this morning. Let me have. Will you get your feet your hands off this basket at once? Are you? Have, have you gone crazy? Are you not? No. What am I supposed? What, what do you think I'm doing with the basket? I'm playing the hide and seek game, right? Where I don't know. Let me have. Get your hands off this basket! Are you crazy? Are you mad? Now, Paula, listen. I have tolerated your excesses since you came into my house. Don't push me. What's the way? Don't provoke me. I kept a very hot slap. This is I've been keeping for my mom. Make get mouse get through now. Now, Paula. You mad. I can throw that woman out of the house, but I sure cannot when Omar is playing a sentiment card on me. I get your point, but I'm following everything with extreme diplomacy, and I know when exactly to step in with all the forces of law to put her where she belongs. I had her on record slandering my name and I will soon make up my mind on what exactly to do with her. Sure.
Platinum. It's okay, Uchi. No. Yes, Stupid girl. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let, 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 let me tell you something. I am leaving you in this house because of my son. On my refund, I am throwing you out. Just try it one more time. Just try it. Not just even touching her. Just raise your voice at her and you will see what I'll do to you. Nah, 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 nah. Cha. Cha, listen. Should we not go and tell them the truth? Why should we? Grandma used to tell us not to punish people for nothing. And now feel we made her to lose her job. But you know that Grandpa will punish us if we tell them that we were the one who destroyed the phone. It's better we tell them the truth, that we did not like her. But she was a nice woman. You feel she is nice? How did you find out? We both know she's a nice woman and she wants the best from us. Can we go and talk to Grandpa? Why must it be Grandpa? He's the only one that understands us. Please, can we go? City girls are known for many things, and having manners is one of them. Where did yours go? Eh? You see? See, if I slap you, there is the kind of rainbow stuff I'm going to give to you now that if we your local government counselor, you will not be able to recognize when I'm done with you, idiot! Can you imagine? Mama will not give me any money. You even tell her not to give me money, yet I will manage to bring her my penny. My little cell is to prepare food. And yet, your mama will not let me have this. You went to go and collect the remaining one in the kitchen to go and eat. And do you know why? Do you know why I took the food? Because it is my right. Because I want to. I mean, who the hell do you think you are for me to take permission from you? Before eating whatever I want in this house? You are nothing. You are nothing but the log of food. I cannot even give a late husband a child. Get out of my face! I don't even want to do chicken. You're even eating my chicken. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. Hey. 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 I am going to ignore you today. Because I'm in a good mood and I'm tired. Mm. To God. Mm. If you ever. If you ever go to the kitchen to call my food again. 
making noise. It's okay. Imagine I'm holding you now. If you ever try it again, I will kill you. No, come now. I thought you told me to fight me. Come and fight. I'm calling this one food. When you are supposed to be happy that I'm even helping you to eat this, this poison. I'm even trying to force myself to let the thing pass through my throat. I just wonder how Mama has been tolerating you in this house, eating this poison you call a food. Idiot. Stupid girl. Came here to fight me. Mom, I'm not cutting the, the chicken. I'm slicing it. Really? Nothing? You've got your mother? Alright, please, I just need you to try your, your best. Try harder. Alright, I don't mind paying double just if it is needed in this operation. Please. Alright, thank you. Nothing yet? Nothing. Nothing on her. You were right, Dad. I was too hard on her. I allow my anger to influence, you know, what I saw. And it beclouded my judgment. It's all right, son. One thing I will not do is allow you to continue blaming yourself. It was a mistake indeed. And I feel the right thing for us to do now is you go and see her. She left her contact address, right? Yes, she did. But they don't. But what? What? You feel your pride and your ego will be at stake if you go to see her? You don't give me that. I didn't train you up like that. I trained you up for you to have the heart to apologize when you do something wrong. And that is the case here. The kids have come out clean. They have confirmed they did it. Henry said he was so angry that he had to submerge the phone in what? She acted the way she did because she is a human. She is not a deity who is going to overlook everything. She is a human and she behaved like one. Okay? I know, Father. I know it wasn't easy for them coming clean. Going to see her is not the problem. So what is the problem? Is what to say to her. Are you serious? If the coming king of my kingdom is sitting right before me and is confirming to me that there is the possibility, he will not have the right words to say at big occasions and the special moments, then I must have to tell you that that indeed is my problem right now. My clothes, what's going on here? Your clothes? These are my clothes. Mama, my friend, give me this. Are you crazy? Are you mad? I am talking, you still testing my clothes. Are you are you sick in the head? Look at her, crunked ocean. I went into your room. It's my son's house, actually, my house, isn't it? Mama, you have no right. No, are you mad? Come that other thing, please. Mama, even though you do not respect yourself. Even your old age, at least that's what they call privacy and rules and regulation. You should obey it. As a matter of fact, you have to vacate that room. Because my darling daughter here will be moving into that room. Hey, Baba, Baba, Hey, Jehovah. She, get out! Are you mad? There's something wrong with you. If you touch her, you will not like what I'll do to you. Mama, I 
should leave my matrimonial room for her. Yes. It will now be her matrimonial room because that is where she's going to give birth to my grandchildren. Please, later you bring down your shoes. Let's know if we'll be her size. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, I'll be moving you to the boys' quarters, the bigger room in the boys' quarters, close to Tete. All right? You stay there. That's the least I can do for you. What? 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 If I catch you, my room, eh? I'll push the same pocket. Don't you worry. I have the keys to the house. The house belongs to me. Okay? Now we'll take bigger clothes. And all her jewelry. What's your shoe size? Mm, 39. That's exactly the same. Oh no. She wears size 40 something. Every day is not a trouble. What a life filled with so much pain and worry. Every day that passed by is another wave of trouble. What a life living in peace is so hard. I can't take it anymore. Why is there so much hatred? Hey, should I go? Should I stay? Should I run? Should I wait? Oh, every day is a matter of I miss you. Oh, <sighs> but I don't know why your mother hates go, me so I much. Should I, run, should I, wait? <sighs> I don't know what I've done to Mama. But she doesn't like me. I just want you to know that no matter where you are, I love you. This is Obi and Kalosas, right? Yes, and um, yeah. this is Prince. I am Izuna. I'm here to see uh, Mrs. Omar Onyelin Kalo, please. And Oma, she knew the house now. Really? Um, where did she go? Oh, do you have an idea when she will be back? I, I really need to see her. It's important. I don't know. And uh, Madame Fon know the work again. I don't know how for. Madame. Young man, may I help you? Oh, um, I'm Izuna. I'm here to see Omar. She's your daughter, I suppose. <laughs> that silly, ungrateful girl. She's just some young girl I decided to give shelter. Now tell me, what is the problem? <laughs> that girl. That girl, she's just full of problems. What has she done this time? No problem, madam. That's no problem. Are you sure? Yeah. 
I just want to see her. Don't try to defend me. I can take the knocks. I'm used to her and the problem that comes with that. She always comes with one problem or the other. Well, there's no problem really, madam. Um, I, I guess I'll just um, find my way uh, out and um, I should be back. Hopefully I'll meet her at home. I see. Well, I wish you luck in finding her, all right? Do have a good day. There is something going on in that family. There must be. She said she was married and and then the husband died. Who then was that woman? And why would she talk about her in that manner? Something doesn't just add up here. Omar, where are you? You are making this very difficult for me to even live my life because I can't function well when I know I have wronged someone. I like all those fast food. You see all those all those things that they used to put on top. Oh, it's not for me at all. So what <laughs> kind of food do you like? Hey, me, I like to go to the market. Yeah. I'll buy it fresh, make it, you know, those homemade food. Hi. You eat it, I you know. feel it. Hey, I I know know like you me. like homemade food. And that is why I am going to give you homemade food. Come on, you man. Oma! How dare you slap my daughter in law? In that one or something? Eh? What's the matter with you? Mama, I will give her that hot slap over and over again until you learn to respect yourself. No, Are you stupid or something? What the hell do you think you are? What and who the hell do you think you are? I am a Bladuru's wife. Listen, you're nothing. And by the way, why should you be cooking in my kitchen? Eh? Do you know the price of a, 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 a gas cylinder? <laughs> or how much it is used to fill it? Mama? Eh? When was the last time you contributed anything in this house? This is my house! My husband's house! It stopped being your house the day you refused to do what is expected of you. Is that why you bought this for me? Bingo! I said it's a good day, we don't do not do You call a fellow human being Bingo. You might prefer Bingo, why not? Eh? Let me talk you, just... just. You're a demented fool! She is. <laughs> You know I'm more of a woman than you are! You are a fool! That's it. Idiot. You are still talking? Yes, now! Yes! You are still talking? Yes, now! You yes, I do! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you're welcome, Oma. Sorry, I hope I didn't keep you waiting for so long. I had a court session. Oma? What is it? Oma? Talk to me, Oma. What is, what's the problem? It's nothing. Nothing. What about the documents I asked you to get for me? Mama, you can't be looking this way and you come here and tell me there's nothing. First, you called me and put up a ridiculous request. And here you are sitting right before me, all moody and in tears, telling me there's nothing. You, you are... can't tell me that. Nothing can be right in that house. Not uh... when you have your mother-in-law in that house. I beg you. I do not want to talk about it. I, I don't want to talk about her. But we are already talking about it. Let's say you are my husband's attorney. And according to your profession, you should not be arguing with me. You should do as I ask you to. Yes, you're right. And it is your right. But I have to ask you questions to know what the problem is. At least to prevent you from doing anything stupid that could get you screwed up in future. Kitty, I am tired. I'm tired, I am weak. I don't have strength for any fight anymore. Well, you can't just give up like that, Oma. You cannot just give up on all you and Obia Jolo ever worked for just because of a mother-in-law who wants to send you to an early grave. It's so not right. You shouldn't do that, Oma. You know, you don't understand. You don't understand because you're not the one wearing the shoe. You don't know how much it hurts. As I am talking to you right now, she is doing all her beatings. She is with Utete. And I am sure she should be pregnant by now. What? It is either I leave the house or I am going to go crazy. I will. <sighs> Fine. In that case, you can come to our place. You know you are always welcome. Uh, let me call Aisha no, 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 straight no, no, up. No, 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 please. I understand that you and Aichi has done a whole lot for me and my husband when he was alive. You have not only become my husband's attorney, you have been a good friend to my family. You have done enough for me. Please, just let me go. In that case, I'll find a way around it. No need. There is no need for that. All my life, all I do is do things that make people around me happy. I don't care about me. I think it is time I do me for me. It is time I make myself happy. It is time I let go and... Do something for the first time for myself. Please, I beg you, just let me go. Are you sure about this? Are you 100% sure? Please, can I have the documents I asked you to get for me? You don't deserve this, Oma. No woman deserves this kind of torture. I mean, this woman is just trying to send you to an early grave for no reason. I don't care. I've given up. I don't want to fight anymore. But you can't give up like this. Please, just do this for me. Can I have a document? Of course, yes. They're ready. Oh, it's so good to know that mm -hmm. she's finally leaving us. What a relief. I know. Which... Mm. Uh, mm -mm. Mama, I'm ready to leave. Mama, I already packed up my things in the room. Please, grant Barista Ikeda the access to my room when he comes, so he can pick up my properties. <sighs> this is the key to the boys' quarter, the only key I have access to. I have decided to leave all this for you. Why all this, Sam? 
If you want to leave, just leave quietly. Carry your dead body out of my compound. Please. Mama, you know the saying how it goes. Everything that has a beginning has an end. It is done. I know one day, God will settle our scores. Until then, Mama, please do take care of yourself. Oh, God. Good readers to bad rubbish. Settle our scores. You are doing our score, man. <laughs> I am so happy, finally. I got weed of the evil woman. Do you know that I helped you with that plan? Of course you did! <laughs> you know, you are one in a million. The best daughter-in-law anyone can think of. Do you know, if my son were to be alive, you would have made a good pair, hot pair. You would have given me everything I wanted. <laughs> I eh? Mama, it's okay. Now that that witch is out, yes. don't worry. Everything will be fine. Hi. <laughs> Ugo, dear. That's what I'll be calling you from now on. <laughs> Mama. Holy Sanye Mumwa Nye Mego. Holy Sanye Mumwa Nye Mego. Kami Gawa Mumwa Nye Mego. Kami Gawa Mumwa. Oh, yeah, you're from Falaba. You're from Falaba. You're from Falaba. After everything, where do I go from here? Any other place is better than this place. Now, why did you bring this girl back to this house? Does this place look like a hospital to you? Mother, just please give this rest already. I have told you that we should be thanking God that I was there when it happened. I was just driving towards the gate when I saw her collapse. And I did what any sensible person could have done. And you heard what the doctor said. She will be fine. Exactly what the doctor would have told you had you taken her to the hospital. I don't understand what you mean by that, ma'am. Oh, come on, Izuna. I'm sure you understood everything. Now you listen to me, young man. I know where you are heading. Mm -hmm. But you are heading to a pitiable fool. God forbid, mother. Really? And guess what? I don't know what is going through your head, mother. But I only did what any reasonable person could have done. And like I said, the most important thing here is she's out of arm's way and she will be fine. Anyway, I know why or where all this is coming from. Excuse me, mother. Who exactly are you? What is it about you that gives me sleepless nights?
And why is everywhere unusually very quiet? There is something that happened in the palace that I'm not aware of. Or uh, is there news of somebody dying in the kingdom or what? <laughs> well, someone could be. The doctor is yet to give us something concrete about the stranger in our house. Well, he should be here anytime soon. Besides, he said, there's no need for us to be worried because our case is not critical. Izuna, you brought in a total stranger to our house. That is absolutely wrong. It's wrong! For all we know, this girl could be an androver. Or she could be a street girl. Listen, let me tell you. It's not good to expose those kids to such danger. Mother, is there a particular reason you're against this girl so much? Had it been it was just any other person, would you be so antagonistic? Or would you would would you would you be so disapproving of her? Would you? Sorry to disturb you, Your Majesties. My prince, she is awake. Really? Yes. I was cleaning her up and then she woke up. Now she's asking where she is. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Amen. She's in the palace. At least we've passed the trouble of being the first suspect in a murder case. Please. Can you relax, relax that angle, please? Leave the poor girl alone. Let her be. Yeah, get out. Excuse me. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Stop feeling so bad about this. Stop, okay? Now, can you start eating your food? Good. Be a good boy and start eating your food. You shouldn't have brought me here. I know. Believe me, I've had over a thousand lectures on why I shouldn't have brought you here. I'm sorry, it would happen again. Of course it wouldn't. I mean, ever. Ordinarily, I should, I should, should believe that. But well, why am I not convinced? Am I supposed to convince you to believe me? Really? Malnutrition, stress, panic, and some hidden pale blue bruises. They don't speak much of things being quite normal, but for this not to happen again, or do they? I was just on my wrong mood and side. If not, I am fine. Tell me, Omar, what really happened to you in that house? I think I should take my leave. You're not leaving. Man, I'm a prisoner. No. So? And you can never be anyone's prisoner. Don't you ever see yourself as that. What I'm just saying is, you're still too weak to, to, to go anywhere. And I, I don't want you stressing, you know, yourself over anything. I am fine. Totally. Can I go now? Until my doctor confirms it. <sighs> yes. If he does, okay, then maybe I'll be sure that you're very capable of taking good care of yourself. Otherwise, you'll have to stay here. You heard what the doctor said. You should get more rests as much as you can. Oh, 
was beginning to think when you were going to use your number, sis. Yo, Your Majesty, good afternoon. What is good about this afternoon? Having you in this home for a couple of days has been such a hustle. Did you know that? I am sorry for all the inconveniences I might have caused you and your family. But trust me, it is not intentional. All right then. There's one thing you can do for me. Do you think you can? If it's within my power, why not? Vanish! Disappear completely from my son's life. For ever since you budged into his life, this household has never remained the same again. So, I beg you, young lady, vanish and never return again. Else, I will make you do it. Your choice. I'll vanish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Rubbish. What lame excuse are you presenting to me, Mother? There is not a lame in what I just explained. You really expect me to believe that? Huh, Mother? There is no way she could have just carried her luggage and hate for the gate if you had stopped her. I did. What do you want me to do? To hold her against her will? Never. Oh, spare me. Spare me the pretense, mother. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me of how much you hate her. Yetred, where did you get that from? I do not hate her. Oh, spare me the pretense, mother. Well, I have my reasons for that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I do. And let me tell you, for the very last time, that girl is not good for my grandchildren. Mother, no one is ever good. Just because you disapprove her one-time reaction to Henrietta Sport's world doesn't mean that she, 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 she is wrong or bad in the things she does. And do you know that the kids came clean for what they did to her? About submerging her phone in the water? Huh? And, and, and let me tell you, mother, she remains the best thing that has happened to my kids. The best teacher, for that matter. So there's no way you're going to talk me into hating her or disapproving or not even seeing her good sides. Because she does have good sides. Wait a minute. Young man, are you blaming me? As in, you are blaming me for everything. Are you all right? All I have ever done is for you and my grandchildren. Had it been you listen to me and married Grace's younger sister, we wouldn't be going back and forth. Oh, mother. Now you listen to me. Listen, I'm going to tell you this for the very last time. That girl is not good for my grandchildren. The one is, mother. Nobody has ever been good either for them or for me. And you only accepted Gracie because... She was pregnant with the twins. That's not true. You've always been standing against people who stand against injustice. Just hey. for no good reason, mother. It's enough. I'm tired of such, such, such arrogance, mother. That's not true. It is true, mother. So don't make a big deal out of this. As for Oma, just pray nothing happens to her. Otherwise, you see the other side of me. And mother, you won't like it. Watch your mouth, young man. If you talk to me in such manner again, I will slap your face. Are you mad?
He said, you're okay. Let's go inside. Mama, I'm fine. Are Where's you sure Chaluchi? you're fine? <laughs> I am. Where's Chaluchi? She's at the back here. Chaluchi! How could you go through something like this and didn't deem it important to tell us your family? Huh? Mama, you don't really have to blame me. I thought you knew about it. But decided to punish me because I went against your wish. I I continued staying married with Obia Jolo. So I thought maybe you were so pissed with me. Hey, Chukwao Aju. Me, that is your mother. Yeah? You are my daughter. I cannot be angry with you forever. We disagree to agree. You see, that's the way of, of mothers. That's how mothers are. But I thank God you came back alive. You came back in good health. But wait too. I wonder why her people did not let me know about this. Mama. They all knew about it. They were all on it. And that was why they refused to let anyone know. They kept us all in dark orders. Oh. Hey. So they have joined forces to make your life a living hell. To make your life miserable. Huh. Hey. I wonder why this Agnes does not know that. Nemesis is sure. I wonder why she does not know that she's going to reap what she sows. Hey! God, thank you. Thank God that you came back alive. Thank you, Mama. Don't worry. I'm going to meet your uncle tomorrow. You see this marriage? It must be dissolved. I don't want it again. I am still alive. And you are no more going back to that place. Obiama, you are no more going back to that house. Please! Hey! It's okay, Mama. I am fine now. I gathered that some people who need help do not ask for help. Could she be one of them? Why in the world will anyone need help and will not say so? Even with all the money you made from my son, swindled him and all that, I mean, your office is nothing to write home about. You know one problem with people who talk too much? They don't even know when they implicate themselves with their own utterances. <laughs> now let me tell you one truth. I don't even see you as a lawyer. You just capitalized on your closeness to my son and swindled him of everything he had. And why do you think anybody is interested in Obia Julu's estate? Think? I'm not thinking. I know. That's mm. why you stood with him all through the world. You knew him and took everything from him. Now, why don't you just let us be? Hmm. Well, this meeting... It's a good point. Yeah. What do you mean? Here. Oma already signed her own columns, relinquishing everything to you. Once you sign yours, everything your late son ever had automatically becomes yours. 
this is just to prove to you that nobody is interested in your late son's properties. I mean, this is what you have always wanted. You've always felt you had everything. Now you have them. This is a good one, but I must take it home and study it before I sign, because I really still do not trust you. Very well then. Uh -huh. What is wrong with this girl? What kind of demon has suddenly possessed her? Why is she doing this? Eh? Doing it inside this house? Why? If I can tab on no no. So with all the bragging that made me bring you here, this is all you can offer. You just put me down in that. Yeah? You have been on it almost, almost two hours. Yeah, so it's only two hours you can go. <laughs> Who is there? Shh, don't say anything. And who are you dodging? <sighs> Shut up, Joe. I said don't say anything. I'm sure it's that my stupid mother-in-law. You know, I just hate that woman so much. Ah. Wait. Mother-in-law? Yes. As the mother to your husband? Yes. Are you deaf? And what's wrong with that? Didn't you hear me before? Ah. So, so you're married and you didn't tell me. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what I gave to you. <laughs> enjoy what? Hold on. <laughs> Come now, where are you going? Come for what? You're married. So? <laughs> don't go now, don't leave me like this. This. What do you mean stop this? Please don't go. <sighs> Come. Don't mind, you shouldn't do anything, I'm telling you. Who is here? What are we having for breakfast? Are we going to have... What's going on here? Is this my kitchen? Or a madman's house? Can you come and Uche! Uche Chupu! Uche Chupu! Yes. I said, yes, come here. What is this? What is going on here? Why is my kitchen like this? Now, let me ask you, when was the last time you cleaned and this kitchen? And when was the last time you did something in this house? Eh? Mrs. All Righteous. The only thing you know how to do is to give orders. Who check this? Who check that? What is it? Hmm? Who can you check this? Who check that? Who check? How dare you? Is it me you're talking to in that manner? If I try... Hey! What do you think you're trying to do? Don't you dare! Hmm? You didn't mad? I'll be something they walk you. Oh, you think I'll be Oma? You the Chris? I'll be you smoke Shishani. What's it, Miss Shisha? Listen to me. If you want something done in this house, go get a house help and stop trying to stress my life. Idiot. Fool. Shh. You may win. Did, did she just grab my hand? She called me an idiot. No, something is wrong. Hey! Onyala! Onyaba wa wonyala! I didn't know I was living with a mad dog under the same roof. This is not Uche. This is not the Uche that I married. Onyali possessed. And she needs to go for deliverance as soon as possible. What do you mean I must be mistaken? What I'm telling you is happening right now inside my house. That girl is a terror. What? Are you mad? No, are you insane? I'm telling you something and you're trying to defend her. 
Listen, I can't take this. That girl is not what you said she is. She is evil. She brings in all manner of men into my house. She has turned my house into a brothel. This is not what we discussed. No, listen and listen good. You need to talk some sense into her. She must stop. Else I'll return her back to where I got her from. Have I made myself clear? money so you can buy decent things and look beautiful. Get pregnant and give me beautiful babies. Instead, you've turned yourself into a whore. A pona, pona. Is it that you are no longer afraid of deaths? Or what? What do you mean by that? No, what do you mean by that? You need to be a decent woman. Is that asking for too much? So you mean after reporting me to those old fools, you still have the guts to call me a whore to my face? Why can't you just be decent? Be a decent young girl, a decent wife, a decent mother, a decent woman. And I promise you, I will buy you a jeep. <sighs> Put away the knife. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? Eh? You are not worthy of life. I will end your life in everything that you have denied me of. You'll be mine. <laughs> Talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. How can you be digging your own grave? What do you mean by that? Me digging my own grave? No, you want to kill yourself. How can you follow a married woman to her bedroom? Up to the level of passing a night on her matrimonial bed? That act is suicidal. My goodness. Is she married? Well, she didn't tell me that. Now I am telling you. You have to desist from that act. Else, you will die without any trace. God have mercy. Anyway, thank you for this information. You can get out, please. Eh, uh, come. Where is her husband? 
He lives abroad. I can see that you are very useless. Eh? Stand there and be asking useless questions. Very soon you will die on the road and people will start accusing innocent Satan. Desist from this evil. Get out of this place, George. This is Get man. Be warned. Do not allow this half life woman to be very brief. Don't allow this type of woman to this compound again. Else, be sacked. Uh -huh, Madam Kudi, you said you wanted to talk to me. You have my ears. What is it about? Yes, my prince. I apologize in advance. What I want to say is not in my place. But I have to say it because it had been disturbing me. I know it might lead to my sack, but I have to say it. Considering you are a good man, you may understand me and decide to leave me in the palace. Madam Kuti, just, just go straight to the point. Uh, you're taking a lot of time already. I told you all to be free with me anytime you have complaints. Okay, my I, I believe you should just, just talk. My prince, I feel you should bring her back. Bring her back? Uh, I don't know her name. The woman you hired as a home teacher for the kids. You see, she is the best thing that has happened to their lives. You see, this few months she was here, she has impacted on them more than what all of us have managed to do in these few years. Considering the fact she lost it when the kids broke her phone, you should also consider that she's a woman. And please forgive her and bring her back. She's, the children are better off with her. Biko, please. My prince, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't plan to make you become emotional. Uh, so don't forget about her. Don't oh. forget about her. No, 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 it's okay. Come back, Madam Kudi. I, I, on the contrary, I really uh, appreciate your thoughtfulness and um, getting to talk to me about this. Thank you. You're welcome, my prince. chose you for this task because I know you cannot come back to Nigeria to claim any child. Why are you not doing this job? Utete! Utete! Yes, ma'am, you called me. What's going on? Not me. Are you not man enough? I mean, I've not been seeing you with her. By now, she's supposed to be pregnant. What's going on? And I decided to drive myself so I will give you time to be with her. Your duty now is to be with her and get her pregnant. And you're not performing. She might be pregnant for those men that she has been bringing to the house. But she cannot be, become pregnant for me because she has not even allowed me to, to do anything she, with her. Can you listen to yourself? What are you supposed to be doing here? A beautiful damsel is given to you on a platter of gold and you don't know what to do with her. Rather, you open the gate for men that are not even half as men as you are to go and sleep with her. Eh? Mommy, I'm not the one opening the, the gate for those men. It's that useless idiot that is a gate man. That fool that is a gate man. Um, Mom, you see that creature that is inside? Mm -hmm. She's a wild animal. What do you mean she's a wild animal? She, she, she can devour me if I come close to her. Really? You're a man. If she devours you, do you know what to do? Devour her back. If she bites you, bite her back. Anything she does to you, do it back to her. That's the way she likes it. Hold her. Make love to her. Just do it. Even if it means raping her. Don't let anyone hear that. Do it. Just get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, leave in the house for both of you. I'm sure you do what I said. All right? Mm, yes, mommy, but um, this would have been easier with Omar. This one that he says is not paying attention to 
So any flashing that I'm giving to her, any green light that I'll be sending to her. Stop not... sending green light. Stop flashing. Grab. Gr grab. She's well loaded front and back. Grab anything you see. Just grab flesh. All right? <laughs> yes, mommy. Don't wear those jeans. It will be too tight. Yes, mommy. And this shirt. Mm -mm. Wear a singlet so she'll see your muscles. Oh, okay. That's it. All right? Yes, mommy. You can actually put oil on your body. You'll be shiny. Like you you got six pack. Yes, mom. Oh, okay. Let's go. I can do it. All right. Go ahead and do it. Let's see, Bokoma. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this way. Make her understand what I've been passing through in the hands of this useless girl. She will not be sending me to this mission. <laughs> you see how I died? I. <laughs> Mommy, change this mission. This is becoming suicidal. Belly Uche, look at you. You are looking like an angel. There is something about you that I have not seen before. Why? What the hell are you doing in my room? Tiny tall. That is because I am a good mathematician. I calculated it very well. You are showered and I am showered. Everywhere is neat. The road is cleared. So this is the best time. Best time for what? Uche, stop. Why are you behaving as if you don't know what I'm saying? I understand this business better than those half-baked men that you normally bring here. I know why you keep changing them like rapper. That is because none of them have taken you to the cloud where you belong. Some of them might have started from card one and end in four. Others will pick from four and end in five. The highest they have done is to take you to six. But I am standing here. I will take you from cloud six where they give up to cloud seven, cloud eight, cloud nine. And now if Kia is not taken, I will take you to cloud 11. And I will give you cloud 12 for the road. Look at me, Otete, the man that is. Is this the office of the DPO? DPO? My name is Uche. I just wanted to confirm your number. Yes, I'll be in your office in the next one hour. <laughs> we think I said DPO for this matter. We think I said police. I swear this game is a witch. You be witch. Can you imagine? Imagine that thing. Hey, hey. You have suffered. What insolence. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. Wahala. Utete. To your mother yesterday and she told me what Agnes did to you. Why swallow her wickedness? You should have lodged the complaint to mother. Eh? Mother, mama, what did you expect me to do? Were you expecting me to drag my mother-in-law to the dreaded mother? How did you think my husband, my late husband, is going to see that? Hello? How do you think he's going to react when he, when he even sees that from wherever <laughs> he is? Hello? Are you still okay? You're bothered about the feelings of a dead man. To the extent that you allow the living to commit atrocity and get away with it? Are you okay? I have moved on, Madam. Madam. Moved on to where? This woman collected everything that you have. 
sent you back to Mudiani. Is this what you call moving forward? Listen, bring up the case. And you see how we're going to reduce Agnes to the true level she is. As a world traveler, I am sure you're used to the word karma. Oh ma, are you going to be talking about karma? You know that you and I can handle this case here and now. Bring up the case and I will be your lawyer. She has nothing. Everything she has belongs to you. Go get it and you see her going to hide it. What are you waiting for? Madam, when I said I had moved on, I meant it. I have willed everything to her. I have signed up everything to her. Let her have whatever she feels her son has, you know, gotten for her. I am fine. I am sure one way or the other, I will meet my bearing one day. Please, I do not want to talk about this anymore. Thank you, Ma. Are you sure you know what you're doing to yourself? You can't imagine. Look at the person I'm trying to help. Anyway, I can't force you to. <laughs> Mama, you are here. I thought you went for the supervision at Provision Warehouse. I changed my mind. Oh, okay. And who is this? Another one. Who's she? Ugh, come on, it's just an old witch that refused to die. Let's go. Come here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take this riffraff into my son's bedroom. And if I do, what will you do? What did you... Did you just challenge me? I, Agnes, or Yilan Kamo, women leader of Umudian. Oh, please, shut up. Just shut up with that title, all my feared. I am the no-nonsense Uchechuku, and I'm asking you, what will you do? Let's go. I just gathered you be witch. Do not try any nonsense with me. I do not spare witches. Let's go. Nepo Bana. Nepo Bana without class. The lowest level of our job. Now look at Uche. I thought she had class. Nani Feje Fichi no Boabana room. Oh my God. 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 Oh I don't know if I can do it at all. I don't know if I can do it. I see, I see. You can have this, my son. The abacha is still on fire. We, it, it will soon be ready, eh? That was very much expected. Thank you. My son, you said that everything is all right. And I know that my daughter has been in the palace a few months ago. And I understand if she did something to wrong your majesty. Mama, you worry too much. Calm your nerves. Obioma did nothing wrong. On the contrary, I did. And that's why I came here to apologize for that. You, Prince, did something to Obiam. <laughs> How could it be that you... Oh, here she comes. Oma. My Prince. What is he doing here, Mama? What kept you? Now, let me have this thing. You can, you can sleep with your first. So let me get the apartment. Thank you, Mama. What are you doing here? I needed to see you. For? Mama. It's, it's, it's been days, weeks, months. So I, I, I was thinking you'd, you know, show up. But you didn't. So I had to find a way to see you. I see. So now you've seen me what next? What can I do for you? Where do you want us to go? 
Excuse me? I have been beating myself up. Hence, I had to find a means, better means, to come to you and apologize. What happened the other day with the kids was totally wrong. The words I used after that, they weren't nice at all. And for that, I'm so sorry. My prince, I don't see any reason for this apologies. I mean, you were protecting your kids. Who clearly did something wrong. I was wrong to sum it up to a mere phone. You know what? You're right. If anyone should truly understand what it means to lose a spouse, I do. Gracie, beautiful and kind. One of the greatest gifts God gave to me. She, um, she left us just a few days before their third birthday. I was traumatized. I, I, I couldn't function. It, it felt as if I had died with her. Thank God for my mother. The kids didn't feel a loss more than I feared they would. I see. Now I know why she has such magnitude of influence on the kids. Henrietta, my daughter, she's been sick, constantly sick. And it kind of became so hard to have maids or guards reprimanding her for anything. So I guess she got used to it. And that's why she's spoiled. She is a spoiled girl and you know it. I know. But believe it or not, a lot has changed since you came into the picture. She's, she's become less aggressive, more respectful. The exact manners I've always wanted her to have. And within your short stay, you made that happen. You know what, my prince? I don't think you came all the way to the States to compliment and apologize. Fine, your apologies are accepted. Your compliments, I appreciate them. But you know the most hurtful thing among, I mean, among all the states? I was not even able to retrieve a single contact from my SIM card. It really hurts, you know. It does. I know. You're human, otherwise it wouldn't. All right? Listen, um, Omar, I, I want you to look at this from a different perspective. Don't you think that was literally the day your old life ended? I mean, the one with so much misery and agony? Have you been talking to Barrister Ikedi? Have you? Yes, I have. He is one of the strongest referees you've got on your resume. I had to. He knows better not to tell you that I've, I mean, I'm back home. He didn't. Not until I gave him a valid reason to. Which is? What is it? What is bothering you? Huh? 
You've been like this since that young man left. Did he say something to you? Mama, tell me, is something wrong with me? Something? How do you mean? Like, am I okay? Of course. You are home. You are with me. And your sister will be visiting tomorrow. Three of us together. How could you not be okay? Mama, I... I just feel it's so cruel and inhuman of me to be... feeling the way I'm feeling right now. I feel this is not the right time for me to feel this way. You know? Mom, what happened? Eh? What is it? I am your mother. Talk to me. Did the priest say something to you? Yeah? Mama, never mind. that I'm the only husband that you have. The husband you should answer to. I mean, where are you going dressed like this? Eh? And you have the guts to tell me you're not going to come back. What do you think you're doing? All hot and sexy. You must listen to me. All right? Ah, else I'm going to give you a dirty slap and teach you a lesson of your life. You know what I was just waiting for? What? It was for you to touch me. Because if you are dead, I will make sure that I push you to your deaths. What was I mean, is this you? You now have the guts to talk to me in that manner? I mean, look at you. A riffraff that I picked up from the gutters and turned to what you are today. I bought you human hair, all the jewelry and good things. And now you have the guts to talk to me in this manner. Oh my God, I should have listened. You know, all I want from you is to give me children and then you will enjoy yourself. I wish I'd listened to my daughter-in-law. She told me you are a devil and I said, listen to me. I am that your favorite daughter-in-law. I am I alone. Don't you dare ever degrade me like that again. You hear me? I said, did you hear me? I can't talk because you're holding my neck. Get out of my sight! What? This is not the... This is not the girl I married, did it? I don't over my dead body, Isuna. You will never marry that girl, no matter what you do. I will not let you marry that girl. Now you listen to me. There are too many girls in this kingdom for you to choose. I even made plans for you to marry your late wife's younger sister. But no, you refused. You said you were okay the way you were. But all of a sudden, boom, you want to marry that white rabbit. I will not let you. Mother, watch your choice of words and how you throw them around. I won't have you insult my wife to be. Insult? Who is insulting who? You are the one insulting this family by trying to bring that widow witch into this family. I will never allow you to bring that girl. Have you forgotten our tradition for it? Oh, beautiful wife of mine. You, you know it yourself that there is nothing wrong in our tradition for him to make her his wife. Tell her, Dad. Why are you still bringing tradition into this? Your Majesty, I forbid it. Mother, like I said, 
if you don't give me any tangible reasons why you you're so antagonistic and you don't like that girl i'm sorry your opinion in this matter does not count for me really okay then we will find out What is the problem with mother? Why can't she be happy for people? Is that her true nature, dad? No, no, it is not. It is not at all. But there is something I need you to speak to me about. I mean, I want you to speak from the depth of your heart. Do you love that lady enough? Do you want to make her a wife and bring her into this family? Dad, I wouldn't search for her the whole of this kingdom if I didn't love her. I do love her. Good. In that case, you... you have my approval. Go ahead and do what you want to do. I am with you every step of the way. Mom is getting me paranoid. Ignore her. Yes, she is your mother. But she is... A woman, and a woman must always do what women must do. Wait, oh sister. You mean he seriously proposed marriage and you're still doubting it? I mean, what could be better than this? Focusing on a new phase in your life. Please. Ah, it is not as simple as you see it. We are talking about a prince. Not just a prince, a rich one as that. There you go again. This is not about status or their family wealth. No, it is not. I mean, there's a lot more to this. A lot like what and what? Please, sister. You need to come out from this door phase of your life and move on. Please. Do you realize I'm just coming out from an agonizing and a toxic relationship? I need to survive from this first. And here you are asking me to jump into another one. So you have already concluded that this is going to be the same. Come on, sister. Stop. Fine, the prince loves me. And I may have fallen for him at the first sight. But the queen of Abata kingdom doesn't like me. And you see, I can't cope where there is no peace. Sister, I get you. I understand. So what are you going to do? Run away. Is that only what you want to do? Well, I, I, I am not going to run away. I just have to reciprocate the prince's love. And maybe from there, the queen of a battle in the mind to change her mind and like me. I don't know, I'm just confused for now. Mama. Your sister is right. I won't let her go through what she's been through in that house. She has suffered enough. Please, let her be. Daddy, are you going to replace mommy? Oh, never. Come on, sweetheart. I'm not going to replace mommy. In fact, mommy is irreplaceable. She lives in our hearts forever. Then why do you want to marry her? Is it because we are not here? No, my son. Um, Daddy feels happy anytime Oma is around. Don't, don't get me wrong. You little nudges make me happy too. But Oma makes Daddy happy in a different kind of way. And she's going to make the family whole. So you like her? Yeah, very much. I like her too. Good. Me too. But Fantastic. Grandma said that she's not a good person. Mm. That we should stay away from her. Um, uh, uh, Princess, I understand. I understand totally. Uh, you told me about it, remember? And um, I know that was why you did what you did. But hey, that's all in the past. Mm? Is she still going to punish her for what we did to her phone? That depends. That is, if you ask nicely. Please forgive us, Miss Oma. We <laughs> didn't mean to hurt you. 
<sighs> Listen. And you think I haven't forgiven you? Listen. I understand why you did what you did. You wanted to get back at me, right? But you know what? You've learned from your mistakes. That's what makes me happy. We learn our lessons from our mistakes. Okay? Okay. That's what Daddy said too. <laughs> but don't mean you're forgiving us. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you. <laughs> Did something happen? Uh, is there any reason that I can't be here? Oh. No, I'm just wondering. I mean... I came to see your mother. Okay. Even though you didn't really come out positive. I think she and I may be heading, I mean, edging towards a good place. Oh, that's a good, uh, good thing, right? Yeah, I guess. What's the problem? Why are you still moody? My prince, I understand you feel I don't love you the way you love me and all that, but you know, it's not really my fault. I've, I've really gone through a lot, especially been in a toxic relationship and marriage and all that. And I'm just trying to be careful with my heart. I'm just, just trying to be focused. I'm trying to know what I want. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Listen, I promise I'm going to get her blessing before anything happens, all right? I don't need you to worry about anything, okay? Even you when don't... she doesn't like me. Don't worry, she will. She, like you said, she's beginning to, you know, be on the other side, on our side, right? Okay. Smile for me. Smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My husband, Lon, I invited you all here to find out from this young woman that I've taken care of, nurtured, spent on, a young girl that used to be so wonderful, why she has suddenly turned into a monster. Monster. Between me and you, who is a monster? Did you hear that? No, do I have to repeat myself? What about going to Revi? You see how she talks to me now? What is that thing you're talking about, Agnes? No, tell me. What is that thing that you're talking about? Oh, 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 oh. Because I refused you to control my life the same way you, 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 you controlled your, your ex-daughter-in-law. I refused to be Oma. And boom, I became the bad person. Will you keep quiet? How dare you talk to your mother-in-law like that? Are you a, a panel right now with her? What has come over you? Better watch your ways. Nonsense. Mother-in-law. This, this woman. My mother-in-law. What? That is enough. Again. We won't sit here and watch you insult our wife that way. What is it? Isn't this the woman who took us all the way from Umojani to Ubiago oh. just to marry you for our little son? Imagine. Am I? My husband, I'm not going to deny what you just said for a second. But the fact still remains what it is. Me, Uchechiku, I will never, ever accept this woman as my mother-in-law. You all think I'm making all this up? Ngwa, hmm. ask her. This woman here, Kill that son of Yajilu! How dare you? How dare you utter such words against me? Why would I kill my son? How dare you? Now listen. I am Agnes. And you will not stand in my path. Isn't that why you killed your son? Because he stood in your part. Because you wanted to be the landlady. You wanted to have everything. I have your daughter. 100%. What do you mean you have my data? 
How dare you say such despicable things about me? Oh, mother, <laughs> I know so much. I know quite a lot. Agnes, how come we? How dare you ask me such a question? Are you kidding me, Arjuna? Ah, you think I did all this for some village naive smelly girl to come and take over everything I labored for? Ah, no, it's not possible. Uh, stop calling them yours. You know they are not yours. Ah, well, I worked hard to get to where I am today. You advised me to kill my son, and I did. So I intend to take over everything. And anyway, all the children, that's the pig gives birth to will be well taken care of. Then what happens to the pig as you called her? Mm -hmm. Well, a pig is a pig. I'll send her off like I did my first daughter, so it's not a big deal. But you know, that is actually why I decided to use Utete. Utete is not from this place. People from his country do not fight for the birth of their children, so I am safe. But they will be taken care of anyway. Well, um, you've achieved your goal or most of them, if I should put it that way. Now, what do you want me to do for you? Oh, I would like to go back to the village. I want to tie down my son's vengeful spirit. I don't know, I have a feeling he's getting loose. I, I keep having those vibes, but I intend to clip his spiritual wings forever so he never gets to me. Uh, woman. Woman, yes. the desires of the heart have led you to do the most abominable thing. You see, you've acquired that power that you've always wanted. Do you still want to commit more? Eh? Remember that what you sow is what you reap. Oh, Arjuna, come off it. Stop being naive. Yeah, people keep saying what you sow is what you reap. But most times, people that sow don't reap what they deserve to reap. And I believe that I'm in that class of people that never get what they deserve to read. So don't bother yourself. I'll manage whatever happens when it comes. But for now, I want everything. <laughs> oh. She made the confession with her mouth. Oh, shut up, you swine. I, I, are you people seated here listening to this demented, ill-mannered war for girl? I mean, why would I, in heaven's name, kill my son? You killed him. To live the domineering life you have always wanted. Will you shut up if I slap you? We are talking of my son here, Obi Ajulu. Obi Ajulu is my son. I carried him for nine months. Gave birth to him, watched him grow, fed him. But he became a successful young man. Why in heaven's name would I want to kill him? Oh, please stop acting. I hate you. I hate all your conversations. I hate you confessing to, 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 to that man called Oh, yes, Arjuna. Yes. Now, if I am required to swear, I will. I was waiting for that. 
I was waiting for that. You mean you are ready to swear on the Okoko of Omona that yes. you had her say that? Yes. Okay. What, what, what's the meaning of that? I mean, why are you asking her that question? Why are you making it seem as if I'm, I'm standing on trial or what? what? What exactly is going on? Stop trying to stop the elders. Because they've all seen through your lies. I just, I just wonder how your son will be feeling right now knowing all your evils and he's so incapable of saving himself because you have caged him. Oh, you shut up, you bitch. Oh, please. Look at you too. Listen, I am ready to swear on my son's way. You are not going to get anything from me. Pregnant or not. We shall see. I'm not going to weaken me with sentiment. Excuse me. No, no, what, what is sentimental about what I'm asking you? No, tell me, what is it? I don't get it. Is it that you don't want to spend money? You have made money amongst your pairs. You are the richest. Spend some of your money, let people like enjoy. Mother, because I have made money, you want me to spend it on frivolities? Mother, I'm an Igbo man. Whatever thing you call housewarming party is not our thing. Yes. That five million naira you want me to dish out for your party, to, for your, you and your friends to enjoy simply because you want to please them, can actually set up a young man of Umudiane. That is the kind of thing that I like to do. Excuse me? Oh, so you, you think I'm not an evil woman now because we're talking of, um, of a party. I gave birth to you, so I know culture more than you do. Huh? So now you would rather please an Umudiane and displease your mother, right? Come on, mother, please. I am tired of this already. It's making me sick. For, for God's sake, are you lacking anything? You have everything that would make a woman happy. Uh, please, it's not about lacking anything. My friends have already bought a Shribi. They're getting ready for this party, this housewarming party, and you're telling me this nonsense? My dear son, this party must hold, whether you like it or not. Mother, I have done everything to make you happy. But if you have chosen not to, do not blame me. Yes, I am not going back on my words, even really? with a gun on my head. Oh, I see. Obi Ajulu was just as determined as his father to cage my life. I turned him off to enable me to live the kind of life I wanted to live. to make children through his wife or any other woman for his lineage to continue. Why is everything turning upside down? The time to losing every bond will always come. And I know that the time is now. Obi Ajulu! Obi Ajulu! Obi Ajulu! The grandson of Onyilin Kalu. The one who made money and made sure it went round. The one who made our family proud. I call upon your spirit this day to rise from wherever it has been caged. For we have only learned that your spirit was caged. Obi Ajulu, on this Ekemake day, I free your spirit from wherever it has been held down. Rise and torment those who conspire to end your life. For they have done the abominable, and the wicked shall not go unpunished. Obi Ajulu, rise! Rise! It's not time to flare up Agnes. A very serious issue has come up and we need to treat it urgently as some other. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. The men called me. I dealt with them. And you now called Omoada to come here and harass me. 
Because um, when you were, yes, I'm your friend. I always give you money and all that. But you see now, I need you to get out of my company. Hey. Else! Agnes. I will call the cops. Agnes, you. It's when I'm you. It's when I'm not you. Now listen to me. Get the phone and I'll call you back. Your drama is not going to save you. Chalo, chalo. I'll get in there. What is yeah. going on? Agnes! Agnes! I can't see! 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 I can't Hey. He has pointed out his mother. Yeah, yeah. You. What? Agnes. Yes. Yes. Hey. Agnes. No, 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 Ah, what is it? So you decided to come back from the market? Sister, okay. you won't believe what I just heard now. In fact, the news is everywhere. What news are you talking about? She confessed. Finally, she confessed to it all. Which one is she confessed? Who confessed? Who could have believed this? Believe what? What are you talking about? Mama, hey! Oh, Mama, my doctor, God has done it. <laughs> Mama, you two, what is going on here? God has delivered us from the shackles of the enemy. What shackles? God has office? shown us mercy. It was Agnes all this while. Agnes, <laughs> what, what, what did she do? It was Agnes that killed Obia Jolo. Yes. No, stop it, Mama. Hmm. This is an expensive joke. She killed her own son in cold blood just to inherit all his wealth and just begin to live the life she wants. Imagine! It's abomination. Where, where did you hear this? Oh my God. She did what? She confessed. And where did you hear this from? Greetings, my queen. Greetings. Greetings, my queen. Greetings, too. How are you? Fine. Uh, my, my queen, are you sure you're not in the wrong place? Uh, to what do I owe this visit? Obioma. In my Abata kingdom, when the mother of the groom presents a basket of food to her future daughter-in-law, it simply means acceptance. Here, this is for you. Um, I, I don't understand. My dear, we have had our differences. Yes, but we have talked. And lots of people have talked too all had their reasons which made reasonable sense. But I've come to ask you, Obioma, if we could put our differences behind us. Do you think you can make my son whole again? A lot of you just came to marry me after my late husband. 
but I never accepted any of them. <laughs> Little did I know that God was, you know, keeping somewhere very peaceful for me. Getting married into royalty is a blessing for me. And you, my love, has been the best, the perfect replacement for my late wife. The kids, and most especially, the royal heads have confirmed that you are the best thing that has happened to the family. <laughs> and for you, my love, I will give you a beautiful life, the best of it, and I'll make you happy, I promise. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Should I wait? Should I stay? Should I stay? 